Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons and can't listen to a count off screen nope. when we're going to go live. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I appreciate the effort, guys. Nobody well, you heard me say well, Scaramucci, I fucked up. I did. <laughs> no. I did. Wow. Are you okay? He's okay. Don't do that. He's, He's a water. His life's He's hard water. enough right now. Water. <laughs> All right. Anyway, bringing this back in. Thank you for joining us. Um, we'll pick up here in just a minute for the actual story, but first, we have some quick announcements. <laughs> no, not Siri, announcements. Come on. Siri's okay. That's just all right. Siri. All right, first and foremost, uh, tonight's episode is sponsored by our friends at Puzzle Quest Yay! Magic the Gathering. Uh, Sam, you want to talk about this? Hi. Oh, man. Hi, everyone. It's oh, me, man. Sam Regal. <clears throat> Tonight, we're pleased to be sponsored by Magic the Gathering Puzzle Quest that you can find at bit.ly slash magic roll. Uh, guys, the hour of devastation is at hand in Magic the Gathering Puzzle Quest. Check out new card abilities like Eternalize and the latest Planeswalker to arrive, Elspeth, the Sun's Champion. Not second or third place, the Sun's Champion. Oh, oh wow. Jump into daily live events where you can compete alongside your coalition for top placement or head over, I don't know any of these words. <laughs> 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 or for, for top placement, or head over to the all-new training grounds to perfect your deck. With over 150 new cards, you can craft an all-new strategy to dominate the leaderboards. Magic the Gathering Puzzle Quest, 50% magic, 50% match, 3 RPG, 100% puzzle quest. Yeah. Download on the App Store or Google Play. Okay, so typically I do, when Puzzle Quest is our sponsor, I do a little quiz with Taliesin. Yeah. Today I'm going to throw it to Liam O'Brien oh, just to mix it up. Oh, All right. The theme of tonight's quiz is: Is this a Magic: The Gathering card, okay, or a Kama Sutra position? <laughs> <laughs> Black Lotus. That is uh, Kama Sutra. That is that is oh. magic. The oh. classic. That's a classic most card. Famous. I'm magic starting thing. easy. Wait, wait, buckle up. I'm gonna get all these wrong. <laughs> Reverse cowgirl. Oh, that's magic. The gathering. <laughs> <laughs> Strangely, yeah, white deck. <laughs> Too much. She wolf. Please. She wolf is magic. The gathering. No, that's uh, God damn it. <laughs> really? She wolf. Lone wolf. That's Magic the That's Gathering. That's Magic the Gathering. <laughs> I'm just doing B on every question. <laughs> <laughs> Illicit auction. That's Magic the Gathering. You're correct. Yeah. 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 You got one. Uh, the Angry up. Pirate. Uh, that's a Sam Regal original. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Kama Sutra. That's a Kama Sutra, correct. <laughs> Liam, right. uh, maybe two more, two more. The Curled Angel. That's so close to another phrase. Uh, let's call that the Kama Sutra. Correct. All right. ah. The mud hole. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Magic God. the Gathering? Correct. Oh, yeah. and, la and last <laughs> one, last one. <laughs> Excavation. Ew. It's both. Hey. <laughs> All right. Marvel Puzzle Quest. No, not Marvel. Magic the Gathering Puzzle Quest. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Puzzle Quest. This hey, time Magic. Puzzle Quest. Oh. Well done, Sam. Well wow. done, Liam. I was educated. I feel like no. Yeah. Uh, all right, moving on. Uh, Laura, we had some updates you said as far as uh, Mersh goes. Merchandise! She's playing with her giant I trash just bag finished, of dice. That is ridiculous. I've just finished organizing Jesus. you guys. Okay. That's so, size of a human head. I just wanted to give you guys some updates on some merch items. Those amazing posters, they will be sent out. No way. In like a week, I think. <laughs> yes, they will be sent out in like a week because they're in the warehouse now, ready to get shipped. And then the aprons, I've gotten a lot of messages asking, like, where are the aprons? And the reason that they're not shipped yet is because we um, ended up selling so many that the manufacturer didn't have enough cloth we didn't to know. make the aprons. We weren't aware. So then there was a backlog of that. So they're done and they're that about to get to the warehouse, so you'll be getting your aprons in like a couple weeks. Fuck, dude. Because you you'll know, start getting critters. them, so that's solid. Also, we have these awesome necklaces. Also, some other stuff. Thank yeah. you. Okay, I'm done. Nice and vague. <laughs> Things are there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. You're welcome. Uh, let's see, next up, uh, Gen Con Live. We are at the tail end of any available tickets for the show, so if, if you haven't got one yet and you're still planning to be around or near Indianapolis for Gen Con and want to come see, uh, get it quickly. We're about to close that out. So uh, looking forward to seeing everyone there who's coming 
it's going to be fun, and based on, depending on the next couple episodes, I'm real curious to see where it ends up when we oh, get the Gen Con. Jesus. So it is. Oh, it's going to be God. the theater. canon episode. Oh, it's a canon episode. It's going to be the next episode. Oh, what if it ends up being like our finale? What if we all die oh, in the live second. show? Uh, if, we, if one of us dies like tonight, do we just not go to Gen Con? Yeah, pretty much. Well, you, we'll put you in the front row. Oh, oh. Uh, from the audience? <laughs> oh. No, no, no. If you die, we will lower you from above like an, an angel, like an angel. Oh, like an angel. Like on the fly reel. Yeah, we'll, we'll have you on like the Peter Pan like, <laughs> wire like, set up. Just and some just, asshole yeah. swinging you from yeah. side to side. <laughs> just sending you across the audience. <laughs> so I want to get down. I can't feel my legs. Uh, uh, Sam Cukes on the other side. Make an acrobatics check. Go for it. Can do the Sam Cam. It's going to be so fucking great. <laughs> so fucking. So fucking. So yeah, so look forward like to that. We all assumed it was going to be Sam that was dead and so flying above the yeah. audience. <clears throat> That's fair. Um, all right. So uh, also the Critical World podcast. Uh, we just have up to episode thirty now available. Wow. The, the next batch went up. So those of you who are coming on the podcast audio uh, version of our crazy story, um, those episodes uh, twenty one through thirty are available for you now. Yeah. That's incredible. Um, That's incredible. That's incredible. Sure. Uh, Talks Machina, once again, it's on Tuesdays. We'll have a discussion about this episode next week and on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific with our wonderful host, Brian Foster, on Twitch and Alpha. Looking is, forward to seeing you guys is there. Is next week the one that they're off, though? Are they off next week? I think they're taking a week off, no? That was the week after. The week after? Yeah, b b both. Both. The week after Gen Con, we will be streaming the panel that we Do did. Do at Gen Con. At Gen Con. We don't know anything. But I feel like Brian is <laughs> going to be in New York assumption. for Ashley's birthday right now. Oh, yeah. oh right. He That's flew so, out today. Not next Tuesday, not next Tuesday. That's but my the fault. Tuesday Maybe after. Yeah. Wait, no, fault. I thought he'll be back by then. Nope. No? He'll chime in on Twitter. One of Twitter us will be cosplaying follow, as Brian Foster. Follow Talks Mocking on Twitter for updates about what's happening next <laughs> yeah, episode. Yeah, we'll yeah. have... <laughs> <laughs> no, at, the, at the break. We plan um, this out way in advance. Last couple things. Uh, Sagas of Sundry, the final episode of Dread, is now up on Alpha. Yeah! You can see the, uh, the finale of that crazy, it's crazy so ride. Yeah! It's so good. Um, it's, uh, it's so good. It's scary. And we uh, got our first Sagas of Sundry tattoo, I and it's saw. beautiful it's and gorgeous. Tattoo? I love it. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. Got, tattoo. Somebody got a tattoo. It's amazing. It's legend. It's, I watched the show with the legend. It freaks me out. Good. Really? We, didn't, we didn't have that option. Um, and also, uh, the new episode of Celebrity and D is up as well, where I got to Dungeon Master, uh, wonderful John Bradley, you may know oh, as yeah. uh, Sam Tarley on Game of Thrones. Uh, also had a wonderful <laughs> guest, Laura and Liam here join us for that. Uh, it was a lot of fun, so check it out. And then I believe our last announcement is today is the uh, birthday of one fabulous Ooh. Goliath Barbarian. Aww. Once a year, y'all. Once a year. Travis Willingham, happy birthday, buddy. Thank you. Happy birthday, Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Which means I, I can't die today, right? Where's the uh, where's the cake? I know. It's in my stomach. No, there's no cake, <laughs> y'all. But but where's the cake? Oh. Uh, really, man. Uh. <laughs> I mean, like that was awesome. I have a little I'm cake sure eraser. Do you want the cake eraser for the game? You need it. Yeah. Hang on. Where is it? Is Where it put it? In the meantime, guys. <laughs> you happy birthday! Oh, Look at that. It's cake a little is a cake. cake. It's a little pike cake. No. Oh. And on that, adorable. enjoy your cake. Oh, <laughs> and let's bring us in to tonight's episode of Critical Role.
Welcome back. <laughs> we didn't say anything. No, you didn't. I was waiting, and there was absolute silence. So wow. From earlier. Earlier. This is what it's like to have respect. <laughs> <laughs> Never. 107 yeah. episodes later. I know. It's all it took. It so we can it's all it took. And it's the last time it'll ever happen. Just lulling you into a false sense of security. I, I figure. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so anyway, last we left off, Vox Machina, in facing the terrible threat of Vecna, returned to physical form, sent you all through this conflict to seek audiences with a number of the deities of Exandria, after getting blessings and fragments of the essence of three of the gods, you discovered that Vecna had completed the ritual of seating and ascended into godhood. However, discussing with Ayun, the knowing mistress, um, it will take a little bit of time for him to both understand the, the extent of his power to claim his domains and expand beyond just his current condensed avatar form, so time is of the essence. Not to mention that in order to claim the full strength, there needs to be a showing of power and faith, um, something to gather attention and faith from the masses. So, with that information, you also imbued upon Grog the ability to uh, blacksmith and Percival the knowledge of the construct of these divine trammels, things that could possibly be used to seal and have been used previously to seal a god, as killing them is a very, very difficult and dangerous thing. Um, you, thank you for that. Um, retrieving this information, you discovered that the place where these can be crafted is called the Core Anvil, uh, once belonging to the All Father, the deity of uh, construction, design, and craftsmanship. Uh, it, it resides beneath an underwater volcano known as Scald Seat off the shore of a city called uh, Shorecomb in Isilra. You also had a fantastic little uh, run-in with Vecna recently, taunting you all. Um, last we left off, you had found yourself in Vasselheim, uh, went to the Trial Forge to speak with uh, Earthbreaker Groon, uh, discovered what would be, would be required to attempt to make contact with Kord, um, and you... Uh, you made communion with the Raven Queen, and in declaring your uh, complete faith in her, she offered a piece of her essence to give you the third uh, seed in which to make a, a third divine trammel. And with you all falling asleep within Scanlan's magnificent mansion, you cast True Polymorph on yourself to take the form of a planetar and did whatever you did in that form mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as you all went to sleep that evening. Mm -hmm. Except that while he was checking out his junk in the mirror, <clears throat> Heavenly junk. Heavenly junk. <laughs> uh, he shut the door behind uh, Keyleth and I, and we go up. I don't think we should go another couple of days in silence. Has it been days? <laughs> Just barely. Feels like an eternity. I know that you are angry. And I am just, I'm sorry. I, I, I was angry, I, I was very angry. And maybe if we had this conversation yesterday, even I might be yelling that to your face right now. But it's hard to be angry at bravery and selflessness. I mean, we've kind of always had the problem of you having one too many ladies in your life, right? to compete with God. <laughs> I've done a lot of stupid things in my life. But I've never had any regrets, really. I, I do now. I know the chance you took on me. 
and I have confirmed your worst fears, and then some. It's not your fault. Regardless, I am sorry, and I regret that I am not outright dead already and that you have to stare at this walking pantomime of a life in front of you. But, Kiki, um, I'm grateful for the time I have left to look on you. And I am grateful to fight for your future. And I'm grateful for that chance you took on me. I wouldn't take it back. You taught me how to take chances. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? What exactly was the deal that you made with the Raven Queen? Was it when we slew Vecna or defeated him? I have a feeling semantics are becoming increasingly more important. Well, she offered me a way back. And it was the only way back. I wasn't coming back. Not after that, not without her blessing. And she, even if we found a way, you wouldn't take it. To reverse the deal. I'm not asking. I'm, I guess, just confirming. I, I don't want to leave, but there are some things that I will not test. Yeah. I, I do have faith in her. And I have faith in you. And what you'll do. God, I feel so stupid. Um, it's fitting, really. You can protect that plane. I'll be here to protect this one. I mean, if these past few days have taught us anything, it's death isn't the end. I just don't want to forget. If Sprig could forget the names of his party members that he died alongside. Well, they died along. He ran. Never mind. What's going to happen in a hundred or hundreds or even a thousand years? I don't want to forget this. What if there comes a day when I don't even recognize the name Fox Machina anymore? I don't believe that will happen. You're going to live a long life. Oh, well. Yes. And you will love again. And you will lead. And you will be loved because who cannot love you? I can name a few. No one of any worth. I'm 
grateful for you. And I always will be. And I'm grateful for any second that we have left. And I don't want to spend any more being angry at you. And I'm sorry that I was. You, you don't want me to go. <laughs> of course not. Hey, I'm fucking cold. Will you give me a hug? Yeah. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing, by the way. You being cold. I mean, it's just something to get used to. Yeah. I don't have any clever clothes or I'm just gonna crawl into bed and okay. go to sleep. Okay. Both of you curl up and fall asleep. The morning comes, you all come to consciousness within Scanlan's magnificent mansion. A fine <clears throat> breakfast of various grains and mm. oats and quinoa. Beans. And <clears throat> so good. Oatmeal. What do you mean? It's actually really good. Lentil. It's making me really hungry. What <laughs> is that? What is a Sounds lentil? Good, right? Is it a leaf? Fair. Is it a bean? <laughs> No one really knows, to be fair. The water of God's green earth is even here. I, I don't understand. Lentils are here to punish us. <laughs> really? Yes. We have done something terribly wrong, and now we must eat. Of the it makes sense like an hour from now when I get punished in the loo. Does, does, does we are punished by that. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. All right. This, this head cold mixed with crying is it bad. It gets you right. You got cold? Yeah, it's rough. Yeah. That have, that's what happened to me that day. That's what footy. Uh, right. No. It's the worst. <laughs> well, your voice is super sexy tonight, so that's good. Smell again. Smell again. Smell again. What are they feeding you? <laughs> All right. So as you finish your meals in the morning, prepare yourself for the actions of the coming day. What do you wish to do? I don't fucking know. Are we going to this volcano under the water? I mean, yeah, right. That's so where we have to go. We need to be able to swim, and we need to be immune to poison. Yes. So if we have a hero's feast. Mm. That'll take care of one thing. And I have two chalices, because we never used the one. We should That's save right. at least one for yes, a certain easy. fight. Yeah. <clears throat> and you can make us breathe underwater, right? Yes, I can. Up to All of us? Mm-hmm. Even Trinket? Yeah. And well, Pike? Well, Pike Pike at this point, because like, oh, I've, oh uh, God. Uh, yes, don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can prepare the feast um, uh, for you guys, that way you don't have to spend this you know, a spell of yours for it. Oh, oh, yeah, um, sure. As you guys are on this this mission to go make this, I, while I can be help, I think I need to stay here for now to shepherd both the people in my temple, the Everlight, with whatever words I can keep them calm under this chaos in the city. Oh, no. Pike, but what if Vasselheim is attacked? Then I can let you know. I also have a sending spell prepared, so if anything happens, I can let you know immediately, as long as you're on this plane. It's so convenient. <laughs> That's what clerics are here for. <laughs> but I hate, I hate it. She kind of punches happened. you in the shoulder. <laughs> Can I have something of yours, like, at least until we're, we see each other again? I get so, like, I get. Uh, of course, Grog. <laughs> and she kind of comes up to you and. Um. Let me see your axe real fast. Ooh, ooh, the blood axe? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. She takes it. <laughs> Mary Poppins' head. Okay, I was trying to figure out. I mean, it is. Now I'm now on board. She has to and take a takes a little bit of her fading blue hair at the tip, and she kind of and just carves off a little piece of it, hands the axe back to you, and very deftly kind of braids it into a small braid, ties it off, and hands it to you. Don't eat it. It's the sweetest thing ever. No, but seriously, don't eat it, please. Uh, Ooh, 
That's, mm-hmm. that's really kind of creepy. Well, I mean, women Rock. Say, oh, it... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll tie it under my necklace. Uh... Okay. Please be safe. And if anything happens, I'm gonna let you know as soon as possible. Oh man, it's gonna hurt not to have you with us, though. Well, you guys will be fine. Mm-hmm. Better we save our strength for whatever's out there. Yeah, and if Vasselheim is attacked, you don't go saving the city all by yourself. Seriously. I know what you're like. Why would I steal the fun from you? That's my fault. <sighs> okay. All right, bye bye. Wait, no, bye, she has to prepare the hero seats first before we say goodbye. Hi, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so you hand her the chalice, yeah. and she prepares the feast within the mansion. Okay. Uh, so, what, what, what little bit of, for some of you, may have been an unsatisfying breakfast uh, this morning is quickly taken over by the fantastically tasting feast of such a, a holy spread. Yes. Um, taking the hour to eat it, all of you guys get the benefits of Heroes Feast. No so, lentils, right? it's kind of bland. No, it's not. There is a bowl of lentils for those who may want it. I had some. It is yeah. untouched. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, as the Heroes Feast says here, yeah. immune to fear and poison right. and advance on wisdom checks. But and you roll two d ten. Two d ten. Extra. I have a question for us. Everybody. I'm gonna roll two d saving throws. Two d ten. Do you guys want food now? I'm gonna roll two d ten for you. Wait till the break. What's up? Do you guys want food now, or do you want to wait till the break? I mean, yeah, let's wait till the break. We'll take a slightly early break in the long. What? Two nines. Oh! That's lucky. Okay, there you go. It's uh, 18 uh, additional hit points. They can regenerate? Yes, yes. It's the actual the maximum of your hit points for the next 24 hours. So keep that in mind, folks. Yeah. Yes. How long do your um, inspiring speeches last? Oh. Oh, that is an excellent question. Um, how long do my speeches last? I think it's until the next. Said Harvey Fire. Said Catherine Hepburn. Um, I've just completed f- my element. Uh, Spring leader, uh, last. Uh, well, a creature can't gain temporary hit points from this feat again until it has finished a short or a long rest. So you just have mm. temporary hit points until your next long rest. Oh. Essentially. So can oh, I double sweet. up on that? On Give us more hit points. These you, are... you can. It'll be temporary hit points on top of that. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and no, it lasts we're probably not going to fight anything though. So yeah. um, probably not. Since my uh, voice is completely shot, and I yeah. don't want to. Oh please. Do don't, a speech. Yeah, but we need it. Yeah, I we am definitely going need to it. do an, an interpretive, interpretive dance. <laughs> <laughs> of <laughs> us <laughs> swimming <laughs> to the through the volcano. <laughs> narration through it all. Wow, that happened. Oh, I'm amazed that took over so, 100 episodes. I've been waiting for the interpretive dance for a long time. How many did we get from so that? So everyone gets uh, 18 temporary hit points, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Does that max wow. goes up 18? No, 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 no temporary hit points. 18, and then you have 18. So, the, if you so as, soon as, you, as soon as you take damage, they go away from the temporary first. Okay. Temporary yes. never come back. Okay. Then, then you have the maximum hit point bonus. So, okay. 18, 18 max up, and then an 18 on top of but, that that goes but away. But do I get sneak attack <laughs> damage, or is it I also a critical attack, hit? <sighs> Raven Queen, take it away. <laughs> it's a chain um, um, All right, so, <laughs> as you guys are all sitting there watching <laughs> Keyleth dance while she eats, while you're eating, it's it's a unique display. Um, you're, you're prepared for the rest of your day. Pike says goodbye to everybody, gives you a hug. Oh, so Pike, be, be Pike, safe. We love you, we will love you, you. Will you do me a favor and just, so. will you get word to Kaylee somehow? I can do that, yeah. Just tell her dad's okay and saving the world again. She goes. Done. Oh! Hey Pike. Oh wow. Hey Pike. Why yeah. Can you? Um... That long ago. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Jesus. Can 
<laughs> can you uh, can you also do one of those to Terry? Oh. Right. But don't say Dad's okay <gasps> saving the world again. That won't make any no, sense yeah, to yeah, him. No, no, right? no. Tell him we're, uh, tell him we, <laughs> we're all alive. Tell him we love him and that we're okay. We're all okay. For the time being. Yeah. Yeah. Especially Scanlon. He's probably really concerned. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, you see the secondary, like very dull, kind of flash of release of energy that your fingertips oh, 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 achieve. Oh, 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 it's a, we're doing this we now. Doing okay. this? There you go. You have food now. We're doing we're doing we're doing a live. Can I just have one slice of breakfast pizza? <laughs> what is this? A rest? <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck? It's like uh, uh, Pello, oh, no. Pello, can I have one slice of breakfast pizza, please? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Smucker socks. Here, try one of mine. Alrighty. Smucker socks balls. So. Pike makes her way towards her temple. <laughs> better? Um, better. Um, you guys are still better. in Scanlon's mansion. What are you doing? Okay, I guess we should exit the mansion, and then, and then. You should do your little. How are we traveling? And do where we, are we going? Do we just plane shift to? Oh, 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 oh above oh, the water? Right, Is that right, 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 over right. to the volcano? How do we do this? Uh, it, it, it's a bit away from mm. Vasselheim, trees, right? if I remember. Uh, I did find. I did see a tree, right? Mm -hmm. That was near there, the, the town. Yep. Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but, so uh, once we're there, do we know exactly what we're doing? We're diving down into the volcano, forging some trammels. And the, the volcano is underwater, is that yeah. what the, the, the mm -hmm. stick is with it? Mm -hmm. Yes, so it's, on the, it's, on the floor, it's on the floor. Yeah. And you can notice it because um, across this open, clear ocean, there is Just one like column of black smoke that emits. So it's an balloons. active volcano that we're diving into? Underwater. Yeah. Solid. Essentially. Extreme heat. One question. I have the infinite blessings of Ayun's knowledge. Mm. I am a holy man. Mm -hmm. However, I'm not exactly clear. Do we need those little peas to make these yes. trammels? Yes. yes. And we have three of them. Yes. Three. A one. We're, a two. We're not going three. to get more of these before we forge the tram. I don't think there's <clears throat> time. Yeah. Remember, like Delilah. <clears throat> was already down there. She was un she was in like tunnels underground, right? Somewhere we don't know where. Exactly. But she's we don't know if she's at this forge. No, we don't know if she's there. We don't know oh, if she's with the, 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 the vision that had she there was she was topside and there was snow. Topside. It was like yeah, she was oh, coming. So she Bethesda. was coming out oh, okay. of uh, Tharam. Tha well, well, like tunnels that Tharam that burrowed beneath the city of Tharam. Okay, okay. And she was like coming out. She had both of her eyeballs back Tunnels and was like, ooh, it's chilly. Bitch. Bitch. Enjoying the winter room. Um, two, two regular eyes? Yes. Two regular, two regular eyes. Yes. But do you, what, no, why, why do you think she keeps coming back? <gasps> oh, no. What? 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 You're just nervous about everything, is that what we've come to? I just don't know. Maybe she made a deal similar to the deals we've made. Mm. I would assume but so. With Vecna. I would assume so. Mm. I mean, if gods can give <laughs> us their blessing, then why can't Thanks, she Bob. have one? Oh, we should really tip like 10%. I know, at least. 10%. <laughs> you know, be really generous. Yeah. Look at this. <clears throat> you guys. Amazing. So, like, yeah, so we go. Right. Do we go to the shore and then out into the ocean, like on a ship, or yeah, is that what no, we're we doing? go to the shore and then we climb up the volcano and then we dive into the volcano. The volcano is underneath the ocean. Right. So we but there's smoke coming out of it. So it underneath can't be the ocean. Yeah, like a trail right. of black, sooty, it's bubbly right. goodness. We've only talked about it for four hours. It's okay. There, there are. <laughs> Coming out of the water. <laughs> no, not even close. No, it's 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 at the bottom of the ocean. The, the, it, there are volcanoes underwater. Yeah. And this one, it's it's less like just like burning smoke more than it's the the it's the sulfuric gases Freedom. and poisonous fumes of the various uh, yeah. uh, uh, reactions like and chemicals and pressure just, beneath. You never watched behind the scenes of Titanic? Yeah. Jesus, it's like I got it. I got it. I got it. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, how do we get there? <laughs> we go to the shores. <clears throat> well, I I have a tree. I can get us to the to the to the set to. I can get us there. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. So a few things gathered. You all find your way. I imagine there's it's not too far of a walk from uh, from the Raven's Crest to a tree that's functional for the spell. It's 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 on the southern border of uh, the the quarter that holds the birth heart and the one the orchards and various trees there. So 
You find yourself a suitable tree. You gather yourselves, steal yourselves. There is still, now that the, the morning has come, uh, the tension in the air of Vasselheim and the word that spreads of some sort of looming threat, though sourceless and directionless most of the people here are, definitely has built this air of fear and rush for preparation that surrounds you. Um, as you find the tree, Kilo. I have a question. Yes? Sorry. It, did Pike come with us to, <clears throat> to send us off? I'll say sure. She walks you guys to the tree. Pike, you know you have a, uh, what's it called? You put on me one time, the, the death ward. Mm-hmm. Should we put that on one of us before we go? Just in case it's super dangerous, you know, one of the squishier ones? Uh, yeah, I can put it on the Does few someone want death ward, so like, if oh, you go backs. down? Just Vax. Yeah, no, he's, um, he's already. I think either Percy Max. or I. Pass. You. 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 Oh my god, oh flip for it, Jesus. We do. Oh yeah, no, Oh god, <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah. Bull department shears, perfect opportunity. <clears throat> flip for it, heads or tails? Bull department shears. Yeah, come on. Bull department shears? Mm hmm. One time. One, two, three, throw. Oh! Shit. Uh, Boulder you. always wins. Uh, I can. <laughs> I can give it to a few people. Oh! <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> that's convenient. That, that, but that, that's going to tap out my spells there. So, um, I, okay. I have to save some for sending just in case. Yes, so. of course. Uh, so, true. Mr. and Mrs. DeRolo. Okay. <laughs> this will only last for eight hours, so travel quickly. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Thanks, Pug. I just <laughs> bought my help, just in case. You too? No, 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 no. I like a little danger in my life. Is this going to be like the Kraken fight? Are we going to be underwater fighting again? What? I hope not. Yes. You went there. We We almost fucking died because you went there with us, Scanlan. I hated you at that moment. Nope, he did not. Water under the bridge, water under the Kraken. We're on (laughs) bright horizons. As you guys are arguing, she leans forward (laughs) and beneath her breath finishes the incantation with the Death Ward, and you, uh, Mm. Vixal, you feel the. Uh, it, so, it, it sounds like a soft clinging of, of gentle metals in the back of your head, and as it hits, this kind of warmth hits your chest and then sets in and doesn't quite fade. It's like there's just, it's like having a, a localized blanket held to your sternum. Nice. Um, who, who else would like one? Percival. How many does she get? Uh, she can, I'll say for the purposes that she can muster four. Whoa! Oh. Scanlan. Oh. How many does she get? How many, Scanlan. how many, how many, how many you get? Do you, want, do you want one? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. And yeah, keep sure. It. If everybody dies, if, if you die, I'm gonna be really upset. <laughs> on my birthday, come on! What are the chances? He's got that whole barbarian yeah. that knocked yeah. me down. Yeah. I get back up again. Thing. Ain't never let it down. Get the fuck back up again. Yeah. We're basically Your gods. Is <laughs> That's why he would be a rogue barbarian. All right. So, mm. so for for those four that have marked it, you have Death Ward, which lasts for eight hours. Um, the first time you drop to zero hit points, it brings you to one, and then the spell fades. Right. Okay. Uh, all right. So, <clears throat> Pike sends you off of the wave, and you all step to the tree. You feel the transitional kind of burst of energy as the druidic magics pull you from one living source to another, and you all emerge on the outside of a tree that's barely wide enough to sustain the doorway between the two. As you all kind of gather on the outskirts, you turn around. You can see this, the, the somewhat uh, leafless living through the winter, but uh, not not the prettiest tree you've seen. Uh, and the doorway portal closes behind you. Glancing around you, there is uh, a light snowfall, and you can see slush and snow kind of gathered, dirty along the edges of the streets. You are on the outskirts of the city of uh, Shorecombe. Population-wise, it can't be more than a few thousand people at most. Um, and it looks like there is a, uh, a very healthy uh, fish trade. To the immediate right of you, you can see there's there's a, a cliffside, maybe 200 feet off from the edge of the town, where there are carts going to and from, and you can see the large crane that seems to be carrying uh, large containers and uh, large nets filled with caught fish from the bottom of the cliffside. Um, People around noticed you all emerge from a tree, and you could see about four or five of the various peasants and working folk just kind of stop in their tracks and stare at you. Frozen. I know, weird, <clears throat> right? Really weird. Hi. Uh, um. 
this way, James. And he grabs his little kid's hand. The kid just kind of slack jawed watching you and grabs, and drags him off to the side. People start walking again and still kind of glancing over their shoulder. They go about their business, but keeping a very, very close side of people that just Maybe bamped into the Maybe I should have found town. a tree less in the center of things. <laughs> Maybe, but no, I, I'd rather it easier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's on the center of town, thankfully. It's still off to the side, but you did catch the eye of a few folk, at least. I mean, you it's still fine. transported us a long way. That's commendable. Yeah. What, what, what would, how would one go about finding out if you're being watched via magical means? Is there a way to do that other than if, if one is not a magic user? Is there like, is that just a perception check to? No, that would be. Uh, there would be actual spells designed for that. Mm-hmm. Just checking. Sorry. Are there s- spells designed to, to mask you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't think any of us have them. To mask you from scrying? Yeah, well, so that people can't see cloud. us. Do you know of anything like that, Scanlan? I've I've heard of such things, but I don't currently have one. Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh well. Yeah. Just curious. Good question. I mean, yeah, because Vecna's fucking watching us. Right now? Right now. Yeah, all the fucking time. We should. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's right over there. <laughs> do we take a boat now, or do we like find some dolphins and ride out majestically? <laughs> uh, can we see where it's coming? Are we like on the water? This. Let's make it happen. Yeah, can we you... make our way to the shoreline? Okay, it's it's a few it's a couple hundred feet to get to the the edge of the cliff, and these are these are sheer cliffs <laughs> that drop off for uh, 150, 200 feet or so before it hits uh, very, very hard pebbled beaches. Ooh. These aren't sandy beaches. Right. Um, I stop everybody. Say, be careful, it looks like it could be a thousand feet, which is deceiving. <laughs> okay. You know you're only talking you to yourself, we all, you we all know. Anything. I'll get some break, I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Holy word, <laughs> A thousand feet is so long. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we got to actually so walk. We're, so we're on cliffs facing the ocean right now? Yes, you guys are at the edge of the cliff. You look down, and there, there are the rocky beaches there. There are a number of large docks that uh, jut out from the the rocky beach, and you can see there are about five or six, but varying degrees of rickety, uh, winding wooden staircases that are built into the cliff side that lead from the top wow, edge of the cliff cool. down to the beach below. And you can see a lot of workers are currently hauling large sacks and small crates and boxes, things that, that you know are too small to bring on the large kind of uh, winding cranes that they have on the edge as well. Um, and there's ships coming, there are ships going. It looks like this is a decent trade stop for uh, ships or for cities along the shore side here in the Seal Rift. So, what do our elven eyes see? Yeah, Can we uh, see the smoke? Make a perception check. <laughs> that was a Legolas reference, in case you were wondering. I'm not uh, familiar with that reference. <laughs> a perception Legolas? check? Yes. yes. Uh, Twenty. Twenty. Uh, glancing out at this distance, because uh, the the sky itself is very cloudy, very gray. It's a very gray day. It's cold. It's chilly. The wind's blowing. It's very faint, but it's still a. It's enough to the point where snow is falling. Um, there is a very, very faint mist in the distance. Either a storm is coming or a storm has passed. That's preventing you from seeing any sign of uh, a glimmer of the smoke. So you're not entirely certain the direction. Can I tell if the storm is coming or if the storm is? Make a nature check. And there are people about. Uh, there are people about it, does. and some of them are just passing, not paying a mind. A few of them stop and glance at these very well dressed, very dangerous looking figures that have now just walked up and look out past the ocean, but no one's broaching any conversation. They look like they're more making a wide berth or keeping a very untrusting eye on you as they walk past. That's true, it's doing interpretive dance again. So, what'd you get? I'm a motherfucking human barometer. What'd you roll? Natural, Natural 20. 20. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's really, I'm really good at that. Check. You get the sense that a lot of the, the the snow that was on the street when you got there and kind of the slush was from a storm that recently passed. Okay. And the clouds and the fog that you see in the distance it looks like it's blowing away. That's good. You that little girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, strangely, no little girls working at this dock. However, the person you did see that looked at little girls actually like what looks to be a, a, a just a generally short fella who has a wrap over the top of his head, um, a swollen cheek where it looks like he might have some sort of a tooth infection who spins around. Oh. It's, it's not a bonnet, it's a crusty looking fisherman who's like, who you calling a little girl? Oh, my bad fella. Um, sorry, we're, you, as you can tell, we're not from around here. Uh, hey. Visiting, yeah, I, I had a couple of questions. One is, there, there's a volcano just off of this coast somewhere, right? Hey. Could you? Do you know where it is? Could you point to it? Was that affirmative or surprise? <laughs> he okay. points out of the ocean. Is he pointing in a general direction? I look where he's pointing. Can I see mm. anything? No. I meant. No. 
Are there uh, boats uh, for rent for hire here? Ships. Maybe. <laughs> See? Can get... yes? yes, I mean. <laughs> all right, thank you. I think that's all I needed from you. Okay, so I pulled out a piece of gold. <laughs> Do you know where the volcano is? Yes. What, I think I'm a dog? What is this kind of treatment? Do you want to make some gold? Yes, I'd love to make some gold. Then can you tell me where the fucking volcano is? There we go, straight questions, there we go. (laughs) He kind of rubs his his swollen cheek side. You can see his his teeth are kind of graying and yellow, and uh, there's a little bit of of kind of blackened decay at the edges, but he kind of grins a little bit at the side of the gold. Uh, A little little, little more than uh, poultry sum, so. Poultry sum? How much gold do you see every day? I pull out another piece. Is this enough? Make it five and I'll introduce you to my uh, dark smack bun. All I want to know is where the volcano is. But you're not looking for a ship to rent, right? Like you said? No. All right. <laughs> Volcano's that way. <laughs> and he points out. Um, <laughs> You see, he kind of look, glances over. He kind of lines up where you can see a couple of like larger rocks that are kind of breaking out from the shore surface, maybe twenty or thirty feet out from where the Pebble Beach ends and meets the waterline. Uh, and he's kind of lining up his arm and that way, about about five miles. Five, five miles. miles. Hey, use your elven eyes. See if you could yeah, see it. Yeah, I'm gonna look <clears throat> real hard with that feet up. I was getting plus that half hour. It's still it's so. too hard to see right now. Can't we with, just with like, the, you know. Spell ourselves out there. Well, we might want that later. Yeah. I mean, we could, but we can. We should rent a ship. If I'll just get a fight. ship, then when it's all over, we have a way out. Otherwise, we're walking five miles underwater. I mean, I, I would rather save my my like eighth level animal shapes in case we need to yeah. bail. All right, here's three more gold. How about that introduction? <laughs> that I do much. <laughs> Puts the coins in a little pouch on the side and kind of buttons it up and locks it. All right, follow me. What's your name, young lady? <laughs> Fenna. Fenna. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. You as well, lass. I love. Oh. I like, I like I love Fenna and the sounds. <laughs> um. Leads you guys back down one of the winding stairways, and uh, you have to wait at certain moments. There, there are certain areas where where it switchbacks and it's open, more of a. You would think it's it's a platform for looking out, but it's more for letting people get past and for the you know, the pathways up and down. It gets kind of narrow on the actual <coughs> stairs. But eventually, you make your way down to where these docks are, and there are three large buildings that are kind of the hubs of most people checking in, checking out. They have a number of. Uh, uh, Docksmen that are keeping tabs on what's going in and out of the of the uh, the dock, and uh, materials are being shipped in, taxing those that are using it temporarily. Uh, and general business in the vicinity. Uh, he leads you over. All right, I'm going to introduce you to Scent. She can rent you something at the very least. Um, just uh, I recommend not letting that one in. She has a thing against the smaller folk. Oh. Really? I'm being racisted against? <laughs> yes, yeah. you are. I, look, I'm not. You seem like a very fine lady. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> well done. But I just, I know Scent well, and uh, you want to make a good impression, just maybe keep her outside. You're not the oh. tallest yourself. It stretches at the lower back, and you see with, 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 yeah, with a couple of like cracks and snaps, uh, the 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 hunched man gets about four or five inches of height and is almost cresting about Vax height. Look, Scanlan, the necklace is really nice on the inside. I can vouch for it. Oh, I'm not going hands. into the necklace. Why not? New experiences, right? All that, whatever it takes, cheap permission. Man does not hide in necklaces. Fuck that it. is true. No, Fuck the... it. I'm not disguising him just because of what he looks like. What Fuck he... that. Wait a second. Are you standing up for me? <sighs> of course I am. I would like to argue he just disguised himself for a solid year, though. I don't care. That was a different reason. <laughs> and if your fucking 
Doc Mistress is such a bitch that she won't give us a good deal because of him, then we'll find someone else. Fair enough. I would also recommend you lower your voice. We're right outside of her door. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's your name? What's your Senth. Mis- Senth. I mean, it's really easy. I, I don't I mind putting like on the hat. Expediency. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is kind of the principle, but do we have time for principles? We have time we for principles immediately principles. afterwards. We, when we come back, we, we never have so before. Well. Why start now? Hmm. I mean, I like to but no, I don't no. think you should do it. Let's stand on principle. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, for me? No. <laughs> oh, right. well. Are we done here? Oh, you're still here, yeah. Good day. Yes. Thanks for your job. Don't be a dick. Hobbles though. off and makes his way back <laughs> up the stairs. So you come outside of the, uh, the, this one uh, dock hub. Scent. 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 Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a modest two-story building. It looks like it has a, like a watchtower. Yeah, uh, second story and the bottom floor is much larger. Uh, the door is currently closed. Uh, the wood looks a little uh, sea rotted a bit. You can see the edges of the wood are curling and kind of just dark and perpetually damp. Little bits of, of uh, green moss and various uh, fungus are starting to gather at the very edges of the building, but it seems to be standing and has been there for a while. Yeah. Knock on the door. A voice inside goes, Ah, uh, come in! You got this, but uh-huh. come on. I don't know why I made the sound effect. <laughs> that's okay. Pushing the door, but that's no, okay. As, as, that as, 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 you, as you push the door open, uh, glancing inside, um, you know, the, the, there's general, you know, gray, dull daylight coming from the cloudy sky, uh, but there are also a few oil lanterns that are hanging in different places. You can see uh, stacks of them, like maps or other, you know, heavy pieces of parchment that are curled up and uh, tied off in sections. There are small. Uh, crates, most of them empty, that are scattered about the entranceway here. And as you enter the building, you watch as a very tall, thin, um, lanky female half orc spins around across the room uh, with a, a singular kind of monocle that is very, very intense to make one eye look really big over the other. It spins around, uh, the sides of the head shave, and the rest of it just slicked back against the head um, with like a little bit of a, uh, I want to say, like, like a light brown shock against the black. Uh, to one side, uh, dressed fairly nice, but you can see the clothing at an immediate glance is nice up front and then just tatters at the bottom. Um, spins around. Yes. Whoa. We were uh, hoping to uh, charter a ship at great expedience to about five miles off the coast to the plume of smoke in the underwater volcano. You watch as the one eye, moving independently than the other, glances <laughs> and looks each of you very quickly up and down, and then sh- yeah. slicks back into place and goes. That can be arranged, yes. Excellent. So, how long would you wish to charter this ship? Three days? I think three, it's, yeah, probably. Sure, yeah, It'd probably be less than that, but three days, sure. Do you have a crew? <coughs> no, we would need to. No. Can, we, we, can any of us sail? I can. Not if we want to live. We would no. like to charter a crew, just also to maintain we're going to be doing a bit of under underwater search and rescue. So. Very well, then. Will that be possible? Yes. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Three days rental, including a crew on board. Uh, that'll run you approximately 150 gold pieces. I'll require uh, a, just to be in case you lose the ship or don't return with it, an additional 500 just to hold in case you lose the ship. Mm. So a grand total of 650 up front, 500 to be returned upon your return. Hmm? Of course, and you have something to sign. I'm sure Percival can draw something up. Of course, I. I would not dream of allowing such a thing without a paper trail. <laughs> that will do. Follow me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Quick contract is drawn up. Um, you take a glance over at Percival. Seems very thorough, but nothing beyond what was requested. And basically just, if the ship is not returned, all money is forfeit. When the ship is returned, a very, very intense investigation and uh, Perceived state of the ship is going to be uh, requested from an appraiser to see if any damage is taken. Yeah, it's 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 essentially like one of those CD car rental places that you know (laughs) the the contract says they will ding you for every damage. How much do ships normally cost? I 
I don't know, but I'm... 600 I feel like we've good. rented a ship before. No, no, but it was far less than 600. It was six. far less than this, but at this point, I'm just sort of saying, let's blow the money. I mean, because oh, time yes, of course. Is, I, I mean, I agree. But an entire ship, I feel like, would be more than 600. Oh, no, 30, if we survive this, then we can come back and we have We priced it out once before. It was like 30,000 before. Yeah, so a ship. Yeah. she's... Maybe it's a shitty ship. That's fair. Is it, yeah, mm. I mean, we... That's fine. That's fine. I'd prefer a shitty ship if it's cheaper. Slaps the contract <laughs> down in front. Have we a deal? I don't mind. Very well. Hmm. well uh, would you take this hmm. as, a, as a deposit? I give her this platinum bracelet with the sapphire that I have. Uh, uh, no. Hmm? It's just we'll get it back when we return the ship. This one. Oh, wait. Maybe, maybe what, you should amend that. Mend that in the contract. The one eye is still looking at you, the other one is kind of <laughs> from the bracelet. That's awesome. I find this acceptable in our agreement. But wait, it just occurred to me as I was handing that over. We need platinum, don't we? Yeah, we yeah, do. We do. Uh, it was platinum, isn't yeah. it? Maybe we'll just do gold instead. <laughs> Sorry, can I have that back? Sorry. <laughs> Smooth operator. <laughs> Flings it, flings it back, <laughs> and there is there is there is an expression of like, of course, <laughs> of course, a gnome would do that. <laughs> if this was a Telltale game, it would say, her hatred for gnomes deepened. Yeah. <laughs> she will That's remember right. that. <clears throat> All right. Immediately puts it into a small shelf. Writes down some marks on it. Very well. I will show you. To the shore shanty. Follow me, please. Oh, it sounds elegant. It's a bar. Shanty is like a fancy name for like a mansion, right? Yep. <laughs> Leads you out to one of the far end docks, um, and there are a number of you know decent ships, some larger fishing ships, some faster travel ships, some long boats. Um, you see one kind of galleon sized ship that's just left and taken away, and on the far end there is one of the shittiest tugboat type sized boats you've seen yes. in a while. Yes. Um, Scanlon, you've seen boats like this, and they're largely used for either uh, relatively cheap and relatively quick uh, messenger, messenger services, mm-hmm. like a courier ship, if you will. Um, that's about it. Do we need a bigger vessel? I have no. a feeling you don't believe this ship will make it back, do you? Well, that would not behoove me. I wish to keep my ships at dock with us. Of course. Yeah. She's got a high ass insurance policy on this bitch. Clever. <laughs> the crew is included. Go say hello. Hope to see you back in a few days. Wonderful. No. Whips around and walks her way back to the. Uh, did, did you see her eye? <laughs> it didn't oh. move. <laughs> how does that happen? She seems very pleasant. Yeah, how so does that wonderful. happen? That was talking about. Mm-hmm. Um. Shall we away? Do we need to make any pre- preparations before we go? I think, we are I think we're ready. Do we have all Travel the materials me. we need? We did. Did we? Did we get the platinum from the bank? If I recall. I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, okay. we'll say that we that, that was your intent last time. Yeah, you, you made the conversion platinum. We're gonna do that. We would have platinumed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make the crew. Let's. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. <laughs> How many crew are there? Uh, there are three. Um, two, two of them appear to be the, the, the crustiest kind of barnacles of, like, like the, the gentleman that you met earlier, Fena, um, looks like the brother of these two that, that made it. Oh. That really just lived <laughs> the it. life. Um, both of these men that are inside there are playing cards, kind of hunched over the table, um, can't be younger than their early 60s. One of them has a big, thick, gnarled, White beard that uh, darkens at the tips, which you can only imagine as most hair tends to <laughs> get lighter. The tips means it's crusted with stuff. Um, they're both wearing general seafaring garb and just you know tattered clothing. Uh, they're muscular. Their skin is very very tanned. Uh, one of them's wearing kind of like a heavy knitted cap that kind of folds back onto itself and rests on the shoulder of the side. And they're both like playing cards. They just look over. <clears throat> I guess it's time to work. <laughs> Takes the cards, they pulls them up from the table. All right, where are we going? <laughs> These strapping young lads are taking us out to the volcano. Yeah, scold seat. Mm-hmm. Both look at each other. All right, let's wake up Santy. Santy? 
Shanty. Shanty. Santy. Santy. The name of the shanty. boat is the Sea Shanty. <laughs> oh. The captain is Shat- Santy. Santy. Yep. Captain oh. Santy. Santy of the Shanty. Santy of the Shanty. Santy of the Shanty. Technically, this is Captain oh. Santy of the Sea Shanty. Oh. Of the Shore Shanty. Wow, the Shore Shanty. Yeah. Oh, it's a mouthful. Geez. Wait. Captain Santy of the Shore, the shore Shanty? shanty? Yeah. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you watch as this large gentleman walks over and just. Slams his fist on this small, uh, like like a, like a wooden. Uh, my hatch. brain isn't working. Like I think a hatch, a hatch in the ground. We got customers. And you hear you hear this rustling beneath, and all of a sudden the the hatch slams up, and barreling out from underneath, you see the drunkest. Oh yeah. Most unshaven, unwashed, gnarled Goliath you've ever seen. Whoa. No facial hair, but it looks to be like bits of frizzled dark hair in the back, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, most, uh, very few Goliaths um, grow hair. Now, what's interesting about this, too, is the size isn't as large as you height wise, but width is about matching yours. So this Whoa. is like a bowling ball of a Goliath. Yeah, a little tank. Kind of like steps up on the top. Yeah, only taller. Taller. Yeah, a Danny DeVito. Kind of, actually, yeah. It's a, <laughs> a large uh, that's a good Danny point. DeVito. <laughs> But if like De- Danny DeVito also was doing like Iron Man competitions for a number of years and then let him set those, so like he has like the bulk of the muscle underneath, but then just yeah, um, doesn't say a word, just looks at you all, and then walks out onto the deck of the ship. Awesome, great. Can I look down into the hatch where it came from? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. can I see anything? Make a perception check. Just going from point A to point B. Yeah, this is just what we need. Two. Cool. Easy. <laughs> It is dark, but you can smell the rum. There's rum down there. Oh. Down there, there is rum. <laughs> well, we have five miles ahead of us. Good old five miles. We have five, five miles. Who cares about what our responsibilities are? We'll be able to get. How long would it take to go five miles on this fabulous Power. ship? Well, uh, the, <laughs> one of the two older gentlemen that were there, uh, the, the one that knocked on the hatch, goes, mm. sticks his hand out the side of the, the doorway. Arrives. Maybe two hours, three uh, hours. No, no. I, I'll, I'm going to go fix with that. I'm going to, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Sure, I'm assuming. Uh, <laughs> they even, like, left the dock yeah, like, yeah. I like the they, they pull the sail work. up. They they get everything ready. They go ahead and undock from the dock, pull up anchor, and yeah. uh, the the general wind. It's, because it's cliffside here, the wind is pretty strong right yeah. here at the base. So immediately the, the sail billows open, and the ship takes off, and they begin to curve in the direction loosely of where you were pointed earlier. Okay. Um, After those initial. Winds, I can take them and keep us going for a little bit. Okay, I'm so. gonna keep an eye on where, uh, you know, ten, tenth, ten. What the the little guy said the the volcano yeah. was. <laughs> it's crazy. This is like. And try to make sure that our drunk captain is taking us to the right place. Yeah, after all, Gusto. we are going on like a three-hour tour. Oh. A three-hour tour. Oh. Three-hour tour. <laughs> Actually, should be only about a half an hour now. Mm-hmm. Ooh, good sound too. effects, for of all. <laughs> Appreciate the sound effects. If we're going on a three-hour oh, oh, tour, oh, oh. if we're going on a three-hour tour, I demand to know who's Gilligan, Gilligan who's the Gilligan. skipper. <laughs> yeah. No, oh. no, no. I'm like, I'm like millionaire and his wife. Oh, oh, nice. The oh, movie star. No, Ginger. Yeah. Ginger. Oh, Ginger. Ginger. Well, then yeah. there's the professor and the, Mary. Yeah. Professor. Yeah. Professor. Yeah. Yeah. Professor. Yeah. Yeah. Professor. Yeah. Yeah. Professor. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> that was the weirdest sound. As you set happened? sail, the wind picks up, speed is enhanced, and you gather this rate, probably under two hours, you probably make it to the destination with the help of uh, I'd hope the air shards. level spell, gust yeah. of wind. Careful yeah. You don't toss the tiny ship. Um, <laughs> so, uh, as it guides on, the, <laughs> the captain, Santi, just stands at the, at, at the front of the ship, just glancing out. He's kind of like just giant square jaw, just kind of nestled right into where the pecs kind of meet up uh, beneath the thick like sweater that's almost like hanging off the arms at this point. Um, no cap, kind of balding head with a kind of straggly hair in the back, and just kind of looks off in the distance. Uh, the rest of the two are just kind of sitting back with their various jugs of some unseen liquid, just keeping tabs on the sail, and it's. It's a very leisurely, lackadaisical <laughs> energy on the ship. Uh, how many? How many feet? I guess is this ship from front to back. Front to back, I'd say it's about twenty-five feet. Oh 25 my! Feet. We're crammed God. on this. Yeah. Thing. yeah. <laughs> this is a tiny ship. It's a shoebox. Yeah. yeah. It's like twenty-five, thirty Our feet. Our minis barely fit. Is there any, <laughs> any faster on this? On this? Is there no way to go faster, Captain? The captain, you see this captain? He goes. Yeah. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Do you uh, go out to this volcano often? Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. oh. Santi is so wise. <laughs> Why do you say that? He sees the sea. <laughs> Look at him. We, we can all see the sea, it's right Santi there. Santi of the Shanty sees the sea? Santi of the Shanty <laughs> Sea sees the sea. <laughs> Oh. And points out, and you glance in the direction of where Santi, um, <laughs> the shore sure shanty, uh, is, and you can see there's in the distance a little line of dark that is rising out of the ocean. It's a wow. Shanty oh, of, the, of the shore shanty. You found shanty it. of the shore shanty spotted. I will throw something. <laughs> the smoke. <laughs> the smoke. Do you think Shanty of the shore shanty sells seashells? <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> Rocks fall everyone. God damn it. <laughs> um, quickly enough, you begin to approach and you can now see what was a thin column is now a fairly large, billowing stream of, of dark fume that just, you can see as the waves get kind of larger and larger the further out you go with certain swells. Uh, it, you know, some of it breaks out and it kind of chains and snakes upward based on how it's finding its way to the surface. Um, Eventually, you get kind of within maybe 30, 40 feet of where it breaks the surface there, and uh, the sails are let loose, are, are fallen to loose and tighter on the bottom. Anchor is thrown off the side, chain is let down, and then eventually the captain turns back and. Mm. All right. All right. Should we. Well, hold on, just a fuck. Gee, hold on. <laughs> I saw you drop anchor. Do you have an idea of like how deep it is here? Glances over the side. Okay, very deep. Is your chain <laughs> long enough for your anchor to hit bottom? Cool. Mm. I'm sorry, do you do you talk ever? <laughs> At this point, you hear, as soon as you say that question, the two other older, gnarled gentlemen on the ship go, <laughs> The captain just staring at you. Spits in the ground before you. I see you're also skilled in interpretive dance. You're very good. The ship will be gone when we no, go back. No, 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 it won't. You know, we I didn't want to waste time on the gnome business. Let's just go on. Down. Let's do this. Oh. Wait for us for Water breathing. Voof. Three days. Oh, and shrink it. And shrink it. Voof. All right. I had him in the necklace because it was such a tight little boat, but now yeah. he's yeah. out. All right. <coughs> With that, you all have water breathing. Do you 24 all... hours. Oh, wait, can he swim? He's good. We did it before, right? Yeah, I mean he's he's good at swimming. Is you know he's an expert now after the Kraken fight. The Kraken fight. What? <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have to do that. You just do it for me. It's yeah. nice. <laughs> All right, you guys make your way to the water. Um, alter self to give herself the like gill hands. Oh, yeah, the webbed the fingers. Webbed fingers again. Okay. That was cool. Cool. All right. Yeah, I do a proper paddy entry into the water. <laughs> <laughs> 
Perfect. As each of you make your way into the water, um, you can smell, by the way, the, the fumes are going to be here. It's not, you know, because you see the dark color of it, you immediately envision, or at least instinctually prepare for the smell of like fire smoke or a fireplace. Um, as soon as it hits you, it's a very acrid, sharp, metallic smell uh, with uh, hints of sulfur. Uh, and uh, other chemicals that burn the inside of your nose and sinuses immediately. In the water, going up our noses. As uh, well, this is just just the proximity uh, of being this close. Oh, right. Yeah, like just being near, you can smell occasionally as the wind kind of blows through. A bit of whiff gets to you. Um, but you all make your way under the surface and begin to swim down, following with your vision uh, where the source of this dark column of fume is. Um, Do we have good visibility? It's all right. Oh, shit. 40 shit. feet, 60 feet. <clears throat> so you have about 60 feet or so before it gets a little murky. Um, 60 feet. I think I've still got one more charge in the flashlight, if I recall. Okay. So. Uh, the red light? Yeah. All right, so you guys make your way. Down below, who's who's leading this? I should get a marching order for underwater. By the way, uh, I'll go ahead. All right, so Vax is the front. I'm useless, and Percy's kind of useless underwater. So extremely useless. Percy, but Percy front. has the light too, so, so keep that in mind. Oh, well. be in the middle. I'll, um, I'll, I'll oh. be, be with Percy, kind of more up front. All righty. Sorry, they want to hack on camera. Just behind Percival. All righty, Grog. What should I be? The red You're light. sinking faster than most anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How about I'll use I'm the down waiter system for whoever's in the front. Like I just hold on to their ankles. Just drink it in your necklace or swimming as well? He's swimming. Water okay, so Trinket's trying to keep up next to you. Yeah. Scanlan, where are you? Uh, I'm probably next to Percy. All righty. Yeah, All right, so you guys begin making your way down. You can breathe the water just fine as you descend 40. 60 feet, 80 feet. I'm equalizing. Gets, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you're breathing water, it's not necessary. It's not really, necessary. your ears wouldn't pop no, still? No we're in Paris in the abyss right now. <laughs> oh, right, okay, cool. It's funny, you're breathing the pink. You just mentioned equalizing, I can't help but like, I'm yeah, uh, to try uh, and do it myself uh, now. Uh, um, quick question, <laughs> like in space, can we talk underwater if there's no air going through our vocal cords? Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, good. We can't communicate. Set check. I'll say because you have the earring, you can maybe get, you know, like it's a the, little garbled, but you can hear it a little bit. Yeah. It's like that game we all played when we were growing up. Like, tried to, yeah, yeah. trying to, yeah. Flashlight yeah. guess what? So you can you can make out the gist of things, but, you know, depending how fast you're talking, it can be hard to hear. Um, it's getting darker and darker the further down you descend, and the water gets murkier and murkier. Um, it also gets warmer. The, um, Stop peeing, Vax. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Thank you. Do you call me Vax? Vax, Vax, and I said sorry at the same time, so I'm peeing right now is what I'm saying. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, it leads you into it. Mm -hmm. um, descending further and further, the only visible light that you have is the one that Percival is not shining below, and as it goes through, you can see it, it reveals about another uh, 40 or so feet ahead of you, and then as you pass over it, Suddenly becomes shorter and then longer again as it comes and hits the smoke, and you can see the the smoke and the the fume now. It's like it's billowing up at a rapid pace, and the water's getting hotter and hotter to the point where it's right now it's starting to feel like a sauna. Oh, we didn't think about. We didn't think about fire. About another twenty or so feet, and it's it's hot enough to stand, but it's getting really uncomfortable. And with Percival's light, you can see. The bottom. Yes. You guys all land there at the bottom of the ocean. It's so dark that outside of Percival's light and the glow around you, you only see the very the, the outline of each other from this splashback of the light as he kind of projects it around from the front of the. Does the anybody gun. have any light? I, I can guess. light up my flame hands. Or underwater. You're underwater. But it's magic. I thought it doesn't matter. I will say you get a little bit of there, and it's like fighting against so it. It's a very you faint glow. Is, you can basically. see where Keyleth is, but it doesn't add any light to the rest of this right there. Vex. Which way you go? Do you see where you go? I don't know. We really need to like say stuff though, because no one's going to be able to understand yeah. us. That's one <laughs> Do you see anything around us? Uh, make perception check. 
<laughs> I may join in on that since I have the flashlight. Twenty-eight. You guys have both have disadvantage on this, by the way, because oh. of the lack of visibility. Twenty-eight. Gammon, don't you have Still. any like dancing lights or anything? Twenty-one. I have. I can make a fireball. I can make a fireball, but it'll probably go out really quick. You don't like have a dancing light cantrip or some shit like that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, you glancing down, you can see you guys are standing on what looks to be a, a rising uh, kind of upward cone, the top of the volcano here at this point, where you can see all the, all the ground below you is not, uh, especially immediately around where the weather, water and uh, or the, at least the fume is gushing out, uh, it is porous dark rock. There's no soot. There's no soft surface that you hit. There's no, you know. Usual bottom of the ocean you expect that soft kind of <laughs> yeah no sediment uh, it's just hard rock the, the 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 force of the vent seems to be pushing any of the uh, the sediment off um, and it just descends slowly around you and then disappears into the darkness you can see a number of small strangely enough with the heat of the surrounding area too you can see little bursts of color within the porous rock and with a quick glance of backs you can or backs you can see there are what looks to be Bits of plant life, like colorful pinks and purples, that are kind of slowly, like pulled into the porous rock on the outside of these vents. Ah, oh, cool. Um, you can see a very, very faint glow in a couple of places of the rock where it looks like there is still some sort of very, very hot, very slow pressurizing uh, molten rock that is cooling slowly. It looks like this. There's this this, this constant slow battle between the ocean water. Whatever's forcing upward. Do I do I see any? <laughs> do I see? Don't please. <laughs> please <I> don't. <laughs> it it's, it sickens me. <laughs> it pains the yeah. um, Are there any like other pockets other than the main oh, pressure please. point ow, or that ow, might be a smoother ow. entry point? Uh, Right now, like 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 where, where it's emerging, the, these jets of, ex, of extremely hot uh, uh, fume uh, that are just billowing past you. It looks like there's just one concentrated opening at the moment. As you walk around, it looks like it's not one central column. It looks like there's a number of fissures that are like smaller fissures that are all clustered around this area, and it's just hard to see the separation because so much of it's just kind of mashing into one giant column as it emerges. Okay. Um, Can you go into that thing. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. So it's like hot water and gas coming up. Yes. If I theoretically wanted to do a control water spell and like reverse the water inwards, could we like go in through one of these tunnels, through one of these fissures? You can certainly try. <laughs> I hate that phrase. I know. Hey, you got the death war. Go for it. <laughs> I'm um, more thinking for all of us. I don't know how else we're going to get in. Can you make yourself like a fire elemental and it won't damage you if you go? Or will water fuck with you? Oh, water will fuck with you as a fire yeah. elemental. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. And we'll, like, I could make be a water elemental, though. You could. Yeah. Should we walk around the volcano? Is it massive? Hey, you don't know, because your, your visibility oh, right. vanishes Six by about feet. 40 feet away from you. And we're just seeing like little glows in the distance. Uh, you're seeing so little, little, little glows within the actual areas where the fumes are spewing up, and so little bits are coming down. Uh, well, you're seeing down where the down. Where, the, where the smoke is emerging. Okay. You're seeing every now and then a faint glow that appears here and there. Is there anything? Are, are the are the the faint glows repetitive? Like they're coming from the same place over and over again? Yeah, it looks like the glow is stationary. It's just the smoke obscuring as it passes by and occasionally gives you a glimpse. Let's head towards the glow. Yeah. Um, yeah. It might be just magma tunnels. coming out there. Yeah. There are yeah, tunnels we... that exist already. Yeah. It might just be magma. And also, if we see anything resembling an air bubble, then we know that something appropriate not... is going Oh, mm -hmm. if we want to wait a few minutes, I could do a commune with nature. Oh, yeah, do that. Oh, well. That's we not. That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to be like, underwater tea party, blah, 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 and do a commune with nature for a little bit and see if I can find. Oh, I get like five, three questions. I want to find any easy tunnels. 
I might be going man-made into tunnels. man-made yeah. tunnels that aren't going to make us alive. Yeah. But really, any dangerous creatures in the area? Any dangerous creatures in the area? That's good. The anvil. In the anvil. Yeah, solid. Good questions. Okay. Okay, because of the nature of this, the radius is limited to 300 feet because it is considered a somewhat underground, not out in the open setting, but. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. 300 feet. All right, so you take the minute and concentrate beneath, and with that, all of a sudden, you feel your consciousness extend into the rock and stone and the various forms of plant life that have made home around the outskirts of the top of this volcano's caldera. Um, So, your questions are. Are there any man-made tunnels that will grant us access into the volcano without burning us alive? And where are they? And where are they? That's two questions. Well, no. ish. Yeah, no. man-made is not important. How about any tunnels? Are there any tunnels <laughs> getting into the volcano? You, you feel the sense of the rock and the surrounding material guide your attention, very focused into the center of where that fume is erupting. We gotta go oh. in the top. Okay. Okay. Uh, if if the anvil is probably too far away at this point, what about these little? Feet. If yeah, it's probably not right here at the top. What I about these little so. colorful planty things floating past us? Are they going to sting us and paralyze us? Well, should we find out from nature how far down in the magma it is? Yeah. Where sure. what the location of the anvil is. Oh, I'm afraid that 300 feet. But maybe might it'll know enough. how no. how far away it is, even though it can only. Does it work that way? It'll probably have to be within. 300 it's like feet. within 300 feet. It. I can sense. I can like see the area. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Said the fantasy heroes. Yeah. <laughs> what about dangerous creatures? Hostile creatures. Hostile creatures in the area. Hostile creatures in the area. Dangerous hostile creatures. Um. Okay. How many more (laughs) adjectives can I throw in there? Pissy. (laughs) Irritated creatures. Bless you. Starving. What's it like? Do harm, ill will. Okay, so. so, Judgmental. Okay, train bodies of water, prevalent plants, minerals, animals, or peoples, powerful celestials, fey, fiends, elementals, or undead. Um, You do get a very faint sense of. Faint elemental movement. You're not quite sure what that pertains to specifically, but it is moving just outside the radius of your sphere of understanding here at the top of the volcano. All right. Um, All right. And it is moving slowly through rock. Mm. Okay. There you go. Through rock. rock. Okay. Earth elemental. So we need to go in the top, yeah? Or through rock. You can make tunnels, right? I can make tunnels. I would prefer to do that than go down the barrel of the shotgun, but that's just me. Are we concerned if I start? Travis, can you say that with your finger flapping on your mouth, please? <laughs> <laughs> Are we concerned if I start boring tunnels into the side of this? The magma will stop pouring out? That magma and pressure will just start releasing out the I'm side. just saying. He's just saying. Uh, Vax swims down towards the cone, and I think the last time I talked about the Death Walker's ward, I had set it to fire. So we'll say fire. Okay. <laughs> You've had all that time on the ship. Resistant, <coughs> resistant to. Resistant to. Is resistant. my yeah. mantle helping no, with the, the heat? Before seven. Yeah, the, the the heat isn't bothering me as much. Bothering you as much. Okay. Um, but it helps. It helps with extreme heat as a as a general yeah. weather type. But if you die, so, but ex- but like. You could Intensely dangerous heat, like no. fire or anything, it's not going to help you with that. Um, so you just dive into the center. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. Okay. He's like a crash test dummy. Does he? Does, does so you, it, you worry about that later? You watch okay. his Vax just disappears into the well, I, mm. liquid. Um, the pressure is a lot. I need you to make an athletics check first. Okay, the that's pressure what I'm is best a lot. At. Yeah, because it's pumping. Athletics. Natural against water. You swim down into the darkness, and it's just you know you're you're using your sense of balance to try and keep tabs on what is up and what is down. Because once you dive into the middle of this this pillar, you see nothing, and you begin to just swim down, feeling for that where the gravity is pulling you and the force against you, and use that to get your bearings. Um, I know it's probably fuck all, but I'm going to pull out the flame tongue dagger and try to use it. You as can, a you can faintly ass. see a little bit of it there. Uh, you do take 
three points of fire damage as soon as you enter the water, reduced to one. Um, so you man- manage to push through and descend about 15 or so, 20 feet. You suffer another six points of fire damage, reduced to three. Mm-hmm. I need you to make another athletics check, please. Oh dear. As you're pushing further and further down. My first luck of the day. Oh, not good. Huh? Same thing. Uh, just a six. A six. Yeah. It begins to push you up. You lose a little bit of ground. You take another uh, one point of fire damage. Um, but you begin to make up, and you, you get part way down. You're, you get another forty or so feet down into it. You think, uh, still unable to really see anything. Occasionally, you see a glint of that light that you saw before, with a little bit of glow. Um, you take another three points of fire damage, reduced to one. Um, it is, it is a lot of heat. Um, but you continue to push further, make another athletics check, the third one. Uh, 20 total. 20. Uh, pushing along, uh, still making your way down, making your way down. Um, you get probably another 80 or so feet before it seems to curve off a little bit to the side. The, the force of the water begins to shift a little bit. You take another uh, three points of fire damage. Um, you begin to see... A, Bit, a faint bit of that glow that you were following earlier, and as you kind of head towards it, the heat gets more and more intense, and you begin to kind of push past some of the smoke, and you can see right there, it looks like there's just a glowing ember of rock, about maybe five or six wide, five or six feet wide, that is just molten rock that is slowly cooling as it's being pushed oh, faintly wow. out. Um, but you, the, the, the force of the water curves off to the side, and you continue to swim away from where that, that glowing ember is and following the path of where this push of water is. Take another two points of fire damage. The temperature is not letting up. You are, no you are continue to swim, continue to swim, further down, further down, mm-hmm. further down. Um, make another athletics check. 16. Okay, uh, you're slowing down a bit, but you're still getting ground. You also take another three points of fire damage. Uh, this is getting hard. Yeah, and even your your form, you're getting a little a little tired. Okay. I mean, go against this force, and you're not quite sure where this is going to lead you, or you know, you're not going to stumble across just like an opening where it's fine to walk. You're just continuing to swim down a superheated. <laughs> Just uh, just yeah. Little okay. Little Make another athletics check. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. That's a seven. Okay. Uh, you push back about fifteen feet or so, and you take another three points of fire and damage. I'll just go with it up. Okay. You ride up. Before you can get entirely out of the column, you take another three points of fire damage, and eventually poof, emerge from the side of it. Uncomfortable, back but. Into Warm piss water instead yes. of boiling hot. Yeah, which comparatively is much more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Nope. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, I mean, I can't. You can't really understand me though, can they? Right? Like it's all shit. I mean, we can understand. We can understand. Yeah. You, can understand. you have the earring on. It goes, the earring. I'm not gonna do it. It goes forever. Uh, I don't. I think we need to look look elsewhere. I don't think all of us are gonna make it down. Well, what if I'm controlling tunnel. the currents? And that would help. It gets us to where it's rock. It was getting hot as hell down there. I don't know. I mean, maybe a quick look around the the perimeter of this I, thing. I didn't find anything. Yeah, well, it might be worth feet, it. it. It might be. Fun. We don't even know what the it's core true. anvil looks like. We have a broom. <sighs> We're not going to muscle our way down. It doesn't do anything, and it flies. Does it not work underwater? I don't think. I can try. I mean, but it flies. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> you can certainly we also have try. A fine carpet. Yeah, it'll just say. <laughs> oh. Well, I think oh, it's either, really wet. We're either druiding our way in or looking for another way in somehow. Maybe we just try. Fuck. How I, long did that take? I, I, I'd be happy uh, with Bob and I be diva. Huh? <laughs> I, I have an idea. Okay. Yeah. What if I could make us a tunnel straight down the middle? Would the heat kill us or? Would the water tamp down the, the heat? Like well, if, I, if, I, if I could make like a 10 foot wide tunnel all the way through down. With no water. It might make an, another The water would come in with the us. heat in the water. And that's what I was saying, I'm afraid of the pressure. The pressure of what? Once the it volcano. comes up, it becomes rock. 
Right? Oh, I see. There's more you underneath. You didn't see tunnels, there? right? Hmm. You didn't see tunnels in the sides mm -hmm. of the volcano? No, no. You couldn't see anything. Mm -hmm. It was very dark. Because we're not trying to go down. Dark. We're trying to find the tunnels. What tunnels? There are tunnels, there are tunnels there. here. Both Percival and Scanlan, make an intelligence check, please. Mm. Just um, a straight intelligence check. Just whatever, whatever you roll plus your intelligence modifier. Eight! Eight. Was that? Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, on this discussion of burrowing deeper within, um, if there were any places where you could walk that were not completely filled with water, per se, there would be. Um, the minute that you exposed it, it would begin to fill with water, water, which means you would have to think of a way to either plug it or just stay wherever water exists within the system beneath. Right, and I don't know if we're trying to get to the inside of the volcano shaft. Our water breathing lasts for 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. Let's I'm do. Not about let's, that. let's roll around a little bit, see if we can see Maybe anything else. Maybe we can else. like go around the perimeter and see if we can find some sort of entrance, some I magical mean, looking entrance. Scanlan, you're you're burrowing. Mm -hmm. What what exactly? What means are you using for that? Magic. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Sorry, um. Miley Cyrus. Uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a chance the core anvil could be made of molten rock, right? Yeah. There's nothing that says it's like a not dangerous, totally cool to be around piece of thing. I have a feeling that's exactly what it is. It's gonna suck working around that thing. Sorry. I'm not worried about no, it. It's fun. Shit. But we gotta find whatever it is. We don't even know what it looks like. Does, do you know Percival? What it looks like? Did you see it in your mind's eye? No. What about you? you? You only have the construct of the actual tremble, not the yeah. anvil. Yeah, when, when I was getting the upload from Morpheus, did I see what the core like, anvil might yourself, look like, like or was it just like, like I'm just hammering and like no, it was, Rambo 2 it was, Montage music is playing? <laughs> More that. Okay. Scanlan. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> can we can we tag team this? All right, I can be a a, a burrowing monster. If okay. What if you burrow and I do like push the water away? Is that and a then spell? You, yeah. yeah, control water. I can push it away. And if you do that, and maybe we can go all get in, and then maybe I can throw up a wall. All right, I can burrow. You can de deflect water and stuff. It, it through the mountain, through the volcano, through yeah. instead of down the top like he mm -hmm. just did. Whatever you okay. want. From the side. Or I can try and control the currents and suck us all right through down the top. I kind of like control the currents, I don't know. How? The, but the currents can't go down because stuff is coming out. No? I control water no, as part you. of control water. I can you reverse can't the, the currents. The lava coming up. It's not no, lava, it's, it's just water, water and gas and pressure. Oh, it's just gas. It's not yeah. it's just lava. really, really hot. You can also really part hot. water, don't forget, as part of this, too. Huh? You can also part, part water. water. Part water. I can also part water, like fucking Moses. Yep. Or redirect flow, or create a whirlpool. These are all things Solid. you can do. Okay, do let's more. try it. <laughs> I'm waiting to get to Kim, Kim Karn. I'm really excited. <laughs> what were you thinking? You gonna, were you thinking of umber selling this shit? Were you going to black dragon? I was going to become down? a purple worm. A purple worm. Oh. Ooh. They're excellent at burrowing mm -hmm. and are big and could make a big tunnel. Are they resistant to water and heat? No, but they're but he's stacked with hit points. So. <laughs> That's also, that would be one of your top level spells, yeah. The toppest. <laughs> well, let's, well let's, let's not do that just yet. All right. Let's control yeah, current Kiki, and see if we can fucking let's try tap on nature. do it. All right, with some light this time. Hmm? I'll also say. Uh, Let her walk. Walk the perimeter. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right. All right, so I mean, we can excited still walk the oh, perimeter yeah, yeah, yeah. if you want. We got twenty, a little under twenty-four hours. Yeah, yeah. fuck it, we let's look. walk the let's perimeter. Look, do a little walk the perimeter, quick. and then we're ready. We're gonna jump we'll down and we'll marry Paul. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you guys are gonna make your way around, kind of spiraling on the outside okay. of this. this looking system. using the, the light. Okay. Out. Um, what are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for other, other uh, uh, expelling gases, uh, interesting plant growth, Speak lights. Friend and enter. Anything that looks not natural. Yeah, caves. Okay. Uh, everyone who's looking to make an investigation check. Investigation. Ooh. Natural 20. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, minus two. 17. Well, 14. It doesn't matter because 18, she just got a really good 20. 10. You're rolling like All right. a beast tonight. I know. As Stick you guys are glancing water. about and over the next like 10, 15 or so minutes, just swimming around and keeping an eye out there, Keyleth, with, with your glowing hands and kind of like 
cruising across as you head down, you find currents. <clears throat> you can feel uh, a couple of other small changes in the current. Um, less of a less of a fume release, more than there is there is a warmer area of water in a small area, and you find there is a a pressurized jet of just water coming out of one side <gasps> one section, uh, maybe about 25, 30 feet down on the side. Hey. Yeah. How big? It, how big is the? Is the jet? That's maybe about three feet long on one side, and about a foot long on the other. It's kind of a like a, a, a fissure. A fissure. So we can, get through it. Yeah. Can can uh, Grog fit? No. <laughs> oh. Okay. But can 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 uh, Trinket fit? Three feet. Uh, no, no. Tr- Trinket or Grog, neither of them can fit. Damn. Most of you guys have to squeeze through, and it's as hot as the. Water that was coming up. From the top. It, it, is it made out of stone? Is this could it, can I call this earth? Can uh, I call this rock? It's considered it's considered a rock. It's it's volcanic rock. So move earth would not work. Oh, we Let me look at the spell so fast. Yeah, Grog can punch. You are bad. You're good at destroying structures. Like a, you're gonna punch a yeah, volcano. Dirt, yeah. sand, or clay. <laughs> so when, God, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna say no. no. <laughs> I wasn't sold on the idea until you phrased it that way. Into dirt or sand I'm to give us some more. Kind of. If you have the means of doing that, you could. I have transmute rock. <laughs> then, or we could let Grog well, go first. Let's, 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 let's let Grog punch a volcano. No punch a volcano. God no. <laughs> Teach it to say your name. Roll, Do it. roll a strength check. It'd be like punching a Third steering wheel. Bitch. <laughs> Don't you get advantage because who's your daddy? Only if I'm raging. I'll give you advantage on this because. I'm trying to remember. Because volcano punch. punch. Hey! <laughs> Plus, oh, uh, um, 20. I mean, because your gauntlets. Don't you get advantage because your gauntlets? Well, again, no, the gauntlets give me advantage, but they do give him siege, which means he does yeah. double damage double against damage structures. structures. Now consider yeah. this a natural structure. Okay. Yeah. So you rear back, and as you do, you guys watch as a couple of the kind of. the the, the You haven't really watched him. Use this type of power in the dark before, and you watch as the faint bit of a few yellow runes kind of glow as he pulls back and then <laughs> slams into the side. You watch his rock <laughs> breaks and kind of <laughs> bits of the of the, the the volcanic rock break off and begin to tumble down the sides. He punches again and punches again. As you do, watch the the water flow. You feel the warmth come up. Um, you immediately take six points of fire damage from the heated jet in front of you. But as you slam it one more time. Uh, part of it kind of gives away underneath as one side of it begins to jet up. You can watch as looks like there is some sort of a uh, what looked to be a, a, a gap or some sort of an air pocket that collapses mm-hmm. inward and the water begins to fill oh, it no, immediately. Oh no, it's getting quick and then c- cover it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We go fast. Go, 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 go. go in. You go, okay, uh, you guys are all fighting against the current. Well, did okay. you say there was an air pocket? Well, there was an air pocket was. that he saw, but like the stone as he punched it in, <laughs> as soon as it collapsed inward, it was it was away from where the um, where the jet was. It's a very interesting thing to try and describe here in a theater of mind <laughs> scenario. Yeah, trying to go through an outward jet to this caved-in air pocket. Yeah, essentially you've, you've opened up where the jet is. Its 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 strength has kind of diminished a little bit at the surface mm-hmm. at this point, um, and you've watched as as you punch and it'll be another like almost a chamber below that was yeah. an air chamber. Collapse inward, and ocean water is just rushing into it okay, right now. Okay, let me control water okay, with so the can. current, and can I redirect the current up and around us to allow us to get in? Okay, so control water. <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you. Thanks. Control water takes, okay. yeah, it's an action to cast. So as soon as that happens, you watch that. You, you finish the spell, and as the, wa- the ocean water begins to rush in, it immediately pulls back out. And you can, you can actually stop the current that's blowing upward in the heated water now. It's held in place, and you can look down below. The water is just this kind of slightly shimmering barrier, and there is what looks to be a small air-filled chamber below. Yeah. We'll go in. Oh. Okay. We'll go yeah. In. I'm pushing the water, kind of parting it, giving us a little. Can we fit through whatever hole there is? Uh, actually, looking down inside, it looks to be roughly 20 or so feet wide oh. on almost any other side, and it looks to be that there's a small, still pool that is just there on the ground. It's, it's a small air pocket that's Yeah, I go in after him. Okay, you all rush inside there. You land past it, and it's it's about a fifteen foot drop. You all land on your feet, or like stumble off to one side and catch yourself. But you're now in this chamber beneath. And the only thing keeping the water from rushing in here is Keyleth. Keyleth currently, yeah. But she can. I, I like how everything is like Keyleth can do this. Um, <laughs> True, it's man. Like, wall it off with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wall, but not while casting this spell. No, she'll drop. Like it and instant. Go. All right, all right. 
push the water, wall of stone, poof. As soon as the water pushes away, it begins to pull back in immediately. You can hear the rush of the ocean suddenly oppressively darting downward to fill the space where you are, and then with that, (laughs) you watch as volcanic stone stretches out and slams shut. Um, you're now, you're now in a in a pitch black Cheers, room. Grog. I have a light, except for the the Little surface of, of his of his light and the glowing of Keyleth's hands. Yay, which are brighter now because oh, it's not in water. Oh. Oh. oh, my ear fuck. That was that amazing. Was fucking <gasps> sick. Oh, yeah, you punched a volcano. Oh, you did not. <laughs> I heard it. So the versus the volcano. Uh, here's an interesting bit. Like, as you guys have this conversation. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're talking, and. Sounds are happening, everything's fine, but breath is hard. Uh oh. Oh, oxygen? Air pocket. Or poison? Air pocket. All, yeah. all of the air in here is poisonous. Poison. Right. Oh. There is no oxygen in this room. Oh, cool. cool. There is that cool, pool cool, of cool. water cool, in the cool, center, cool. Of about maybe like, like four foot wide, and you can see it's kind of bubbling a bit, like whatever the fume is that's filled this space here as, as it. I'm going to put my face How in it. Hero's yeah. feast factor into this. Hmm? Hero's feast doesn't that count as poison? The po- you're not poisoned. You're not having toxic air. shock and dying right just now. I'm going to put my but you just cannot. It but you're suffocating. Water, the most. I'm going to put my face in the water and breathe. It's not affecting you. You're fine. Oh, because you don't breathe. You're already dead. Weirdo. <laughs> yeah, put your face in the water and breathe. Tell I'm putting works. my face in the water and attempting to take a breath. Uh, it's the, the the bubbling of of air there is the same poison. fume here. Oh, There's no. I'm even. I'm just trying to like use the water breath. Oh, the water breath itself. Oh, I was talking about the water breathing. Yeah, the water you can breathe. Okay. Oh great. So anytime we need a breath, we just. Breathe. Okay. We might start getting a little loopy uh, if we stay out here for too long. Okay. Brax, Brax, will you look for anything that looks like a core anvil and I'll stick my face like I, a... I take a breath and I start looking for a door or any way okay. out of this. I've got the light. Out of I'm this gonna, I'm going to open the light fully. Investigation check. Flame tongue daggers out so I can see the okay. uh, like non-water portion. Pass in the air, head in the water. 18. <laughs> 18. You go in and take a breath and you look down below, especially with the light and the lamp that's going around, you can see uh, where this which is happening, the, the, this little bit of pool is another small tube that just descends further and curves away out of sight. Is it wide enough for all of us to fit through? Uh, well, from what you can see before it curves off, it looks like it could probably fit everybody. Hey, <gasps> there's a tunnel down there. Really? Oh. All right. I'm gonna, How do we get there? I'm going to tap the, the light into just it swim? and take a look down. Okay. Looking down, it does. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a curvature it off. There's, it looks like at one point there was some sort of a, a, an escape, or at least that jet that you originally found earlier. Part of it got locked off, and while the jet of water continued, the open, opening here kind of got covered with some sort of liquid rock, and it created this pocket. Um, but you can swim down there. And who knows where it leads? But it does not. It does not appear to have any sort of a, a forceful jet or any. Um, so we are. It's a tube. It's a tube that We're goes down. We're in one the of world. the cow's stomachs, but control, there's maybe essentially, more. Okay. Yeah. Can, um, control water lasts up to ten minutes. So if we want to commit to this, I can help jettison us there. You have to cast fast. it again though, because you lost concentration. Uh, why? Because you made a wall stone. You made the wall stone. Mm, yeah. We decided early on that wall stone was instantaneous, and permanent. That's permanent concentration. Mm, mm, yeah. Okay, I'll let you go with that. Ooh. Oh. Because it wasn't Pathfinder. Yeah, yeah. Do we want to get rid of the water though, because that's what's allowing us to breathe. House ruling it. No, we did, we know um, we did, we did the water just is it. just happens. The water, us breathing water, is good for twenty-four hours. Yeah, but if you get rid of the water, then we that's what we're breathing. Yeah, yeah but it's all poison water. But oh no, no, no! Jettison I'm gonna, I'm gonna control it. water. I'm gonna jettison oh. it with a current. Okay, I'm gonna let people move Go for it. <laughs> okay, now we're just just random let's, actors. Let's thing. take it a little slow because we don't know what we're coming up to. Though I don't want to like jump full force into like. You know. It'll be like Lazy River. You know, something yeah. like that. Lead the way, Donnie. Well, no, it, well, well, well how the spell works um, is <laughs> if you maintain concentration for the whole duration, it becomes permanent. For the whole duration? For the whole duration, just 10 minutes. But I, I, I haven't done that because right. I've already jettisoned this one water, and it's, then now I'm trying to fine. use the remaining. We don't even it's need fine. it now, so. Don't worry about it. Let's just go in the water. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. I follow him. Okay. So you guys begin making your Although way. Although Percy should technically be Go up front because he's got we'll light. Go so Percival goes first, followed by Vax, then Vex, Me then in the middle. Grog. <laughs> is Trinket still swimming along with you? Trinket is behind Grog. All right, and then that's Scanlan and Keyleth at the very end. Mm-hmm. All right, 
You guys dive past under the water. It curves, and you can see there's a faint light source in the distance. Um, it curves. This curves below. It splinters downward and then curves up slightly, and that's where the light source is coming from. Yeah, of course. Air pocket. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna go stealth. Yeah. Make a stealth check. Yeah. Do your Navy SEAL shit. That's Ooh, fine. That's good. Come out of the that's water, good. eyes open. I know, like. Uh, Thirty-four. Wearing seaweed. Thirty-four. 34? Jesus. All right. You think you're pretty stealth. Oh, oh shit. I think I'm pretty stealth. Okay. Think you're pretty stealth. All right. I know. Go upward? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was just going to say. As you get up, you see a familiar orangish red glow, and as you nice. see the surface of water above you, as another looks like an air pocket, you, poof, you emerge, look about, and it looks like there is another tunnel here. But there's a faint glow. It looks like there are small veins of cooling volcanic rock in this area, and the Tunnel continues, like actually, is like a, a ground that you can walk on that continues down and curves out of the way. Like the walls just, are cooling. I just turn to the group and and I'm gonna. Can you see by the light of the magma? Uh, you can see fairly with with, with your 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 elven vision, yeah, and with your dagger. So yeah, you begin to walk on the surface. The surface is cooled, and uh, you know it's it's very very hot in here. Uh, but not painfully so, like when you dove into the uh, uh, the caldera itself. Mm-hmm. You walk down about ten or fifteen feet, and you see it's now breaking off in, in various directions. You can see small pockets where it closes off, <coughs> uh, areas where it looks like whatever air or um, uh, gases were trapped up when parts of the volcano would expand and, and pressurize upward. It would trap these these areas, uh, but you see areas where liquid rock are like spilling into and creating small pools, and it continues to descend, almost like a curved spiral around the way. So there's a walkway, but there's also lava. Very faint trickles, like kind of like little tiny bit. And cool slowly. I've only gone about 20 feet at this point, is that right? I I am going to go around the bend. Okay. Continue quietly. You go around the bend, and you can hear faintly what sounds like the rushing of, of, of water muffled. You're not that far away, you gather, from just spatial awareness as to where the the heavy pressure of the water that was forced upward, you can just faintly feel the vibration. Um, but as you curve away, it gets dimmer and dimmer as you spiral off further away from the center of this volcano. And as it continues to spiral downward, this natural air pocket uh, um, cavern, it splits again into a small opening where it's just settled. Uh, Faintly orange glowing with spots of black molten rock that is slowly cooling. Split, you were saying? Uh, like, like the path can, curves around the way and it splits into two pockets of this this cooling rock, and then maybe about a five minute, uh, five foot leap to continue downward. Over lava. Your favorite. <laughs> That's so You're bad. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to double back to the group. Okay. I think we're already starting to like okay. make our way out. It goes a little further, but I just didn't want to sure. go too far on my own. But what did you see? It just goes further, but I don't want to get separated completely. So come up a bit, and let me go a little bit further. Do can we walk on on it? Is it going to burn our little feet? I'm not really a good <laughs> test. Do we anymore? need to fly? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, let's go go up there. We follow Vax. All right. Can you... we like can we like cast locate object on the anvil or like don't, we need don't to you know have what something it is? that like sends a direct path to an object? Find the path, but I think I have to have seen the object before. It would also burn my last six level spell. I could do it, but you have to be familiar with it. Being told about it doesn't count, does it? Mm. I mean, I mean you, you don't have all you don't have enough information, I'd say, to do that. Yeah. Um, so you guys all emerge from the water to gather up with, with Max. I'd like to lead them to where that jump is. Okay. Um, as you all take a deep breath under the water and get to the surface, you make a test breath, and the air in this pocket is still poisonous and breathable. So you guys are going to have to take a deep breath under the water and hold your breath as you make your way down that tunnel. Oh, fuck. Were there any other pockets of water along the way? Shit. Get back in the water. I'm going to solo go where I wasn't intending to, to see how far it is to get to the next bit of water. 
He said it was a jump over over yep. magma. Yep. Okay. Do you does your does your creepy undead brain remember how long it takes before we die if we don't breathe? Do you remember that? Keeps a lot of. I walk away from her. And <laughs> All right, it's a, it's it's a decent <laughs> jump to get over the yeah. lava. It's, it's not not a hard one necessarily. Yeah. Um, but I want you to make an athletics check anyway. Ooh, better use one of oh my God. legs for that. That was a one. Ooh, six. Ooh. Six. What? Six. Uh-oh. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah. Total six. Yeah, total six. Oh no. Already used luck. It's done. Why does this always happen to us? I don't know, but I love it. <laughs> you run and make a leap yeah. and. You pretty sure you made it? Yeah, made it. I'm good. <laughs> but one foot right into it. The same foot. Is it the same foot? It's the same foot. Yeah! <laughs> Thankfully, your armor is set to, to resist. Oh, okay, that was that's right. That was that was just early on. Wow! And yet, vaccine sweating it. No. No, not anymore. I can flesh to my foot. Does your Raven Queen regenerate right. lost footsies? Uh, what would have been 56 so damage is oh. reduced uh, to uh, 28 <laughs> fire damage to you. <laughs> and you pull out what has it. Ah, oh, it burns, it burns, it burns. Um, can kick it off. Yeah. Um, you keep walking around the curvature, and it's about. It takes about about two minutes uh, or so two of uh, two minutes of, of brisk travel to get around the corner where you can see another pool of warm water. Two minutes. Oh boy, how are you gonna hold that? Okay. So I see water, uh, and I shove my face down in it and breathe it. Who knows? Who knows with me? And I go back to where I burn my fucking foot, and I go into the earring. I'm not gonna fucking jump over that shit again. Yeah. Tell them what I saw. Yeah, uh, two minutes. So deep, deep fucking breath. Yeah. Oh, two minutes. And then just when Broom. you see me, run towards me and follow me. Broom. Yeah. All right. Grog. What? <laughs> you good to run? Oh, and jump over some lava. Nope. Cool. So, so, so as you guys are aware, um, you can hold your breath for a number of minutes equal one plus your Constitution modifier. <laughs> oh no! And what if so you're you can't? Awesome. Okay, okay, but you were on foot. If I'm on the broom, like shoom, then maybe it wouldn't take as long, potentially. Uh, <laughs> well, you, you were making a a careful path. If you were to like continue to dash, yeah, full like full dash run, it'd be close. But you can try it. Okay, I'm gonna put trinket in the necklace. All right. Drink it in the necklace. You want to get on the broom with me? I've got the boots, so I was going to use my boots. All right. Anybody scan them? Yes, please. All right. <laughs> you know, it's just a thought, but like, I do have um, the big ass jug that can make like a big old thing of like portable water. Water. <gasps> Sick. Might wait. For wait. Me. What? Wait. We're like waterboarding ourselves. Well, you can breathe in that shit, bro. Right? Next yeah. to the jug and just go boom. We won't be able to see. Can we, but put a, can, we, can we fit our head in that jug? Can yeah. We yeah, yeah, you can. can. So you just have to carry the jug, and as long as we stick our head in the jug every time we need to breathe. How big the damn jug? Well, not everybody at once, but what? you guys. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about that big around. I will say that seven more wow. times. <laughs> wow. We'll space them out. out. We might run out of water, though, because we're, we're breathing it in. No. Right? Yeah, but you're just you're breathing water. it back out. You're just recycling it. It'll get a little less How oxygenated. How long does a fish live in a fish tank? Yeah. You're right. We're big fish. <laughs> the in a little way. <laughs> do you, you want to do that? Oxygen. Yeah, let's this try is it. salt water or fresh water? Fresh water. Or wine. Fresh, fresh, water. fresh. Water. fresh. Yeah, so I take out the alchemy <laughs> jug and I say, "Fresh water." It fills with fresh water to the surface. Try breathing it. Are we underwater right now? We'll take it out of the water. Get out of the water. Okay, I just, just, just out. I stick my head in it. Can All I? Right. Can I breathe? Yeah, fine. Oh. It works. Yeah. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I'm holding yeah. it above the water. Oh, smart. Here, you could do this with a non-magical jug, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, we just yeah, well. could have carried water in a jug. <laughs> <laughs> don't downplay my special We don't have a jug. We don't carry jugs. We do have an extra chalice. I could just go. That better be a fucking You know what? Chalice. I'm going to just take no, the fancy chalice and just 
Okay. And All right. <laughs> one or two I'm breaths going to use the breathing jug. This is the this is the funnest workaround. I love it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> So, <laughs> it's, a, it's a water bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> you guys are gravity bonging your way through an underwater volcano. If that's not box mocking, I don't know what is. Problems in my life. It's a solution to like half our problem. <laughs> We're gonna try to water bomb every <laughs> combat scenario for the rest of the campaign. I was just looking at it. I was oh, like, fresh water vinegar. Like oh. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So, okay. don't do drugs, everyone. Okay. <laughs> As you guys make your way around the way, this, yeah. this, Starts to the combination of, of that druid spell and uh, strangely Grog's ingenuity, yes. you guys wow. have bypassed a fairly serious situation. Um, you make it down around the curvature of the tunnel to where that small lava jump is. Uh, anybody who wants to make that leap, go ahead and make an athletics I check, please. I, I yeah, the broom when we just die on it. All right, broom I is fine. I my, my boots and just walk around, not a problem. Yep, and I, I use my mantle, which I constantly forget, that triples my jump distance. It does, yeah, so go yeah. ahead and make an athletics check. Oh, your mantle triples your, oh, because you can like whoosh. Mm, that's not great. Well, Acrobatics? Athletics. Oh, that, oh, that's better, that's better. Uh-huh, um, 15. 15, yeah. You just coast over. It's like it's like a soft neo jump, you know, not quite that far, but you just imagine, like, coast and land on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ron, what'd you get? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. You guys all make it across that little stretch of, of uh, molten rock without an issue. Um, you continue around the way, um, Vex and Vax. As you guys are making heavy footfalls and kind of making some distance, you begin to feel like this rumbling on the ground beneath you. Oh, shit. I think there's something burrowing. Or an earthquake. Earth elementals. Potentially. Or volcanic earth elementals. Everybody hold still mm. for a moment. I cast Pass a Little Trace on all of us. Okay. Tight. <laughs> Dope. I would like all of you to make a stealth check right now. Oh, I think you barely got that in. Barely. Ooh. Okay. That's plus 10? Yes. Plus 10. 31. Ooh. All right. 34. 34. 40. <laughs> Wow, 25. It's my favorite thing. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Plus 10. <laughs> 16. Oh, Plus 10? Oh, that's still above, above <gasps> bumping. Oh, I'm sorry. You know. What? We I know, I have a feeling. How about Trinket? Grog, rich Trinket's one. in the necklace. Everybody's okay. still. <laughs> the rubbling stops as you all kind of quietly just stand still. begin to get bold to take a few more very, very faint steps on the ground. No. Uh, the rumbling continues and gets louder and louder. All right. Oh, shit. I'm going to go to break. Oh, everybody did it! Oh, so boy. Fun. I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> All right, yeah, so we'll pick up from that rumbling here at the end of the break. We'll see you guys back here in just a moment. Um, uh, we have a, quite the giveaway today. We have a full, a complete spotted tamarind complete dice tower system. Three pieces from our friends at Wormwood. Uh, you've, yeah, this, this is actually, this is Percival's wood type. Um, it's nice with the leather interior from our friends at Wormwood. One lucky winner is going to get this to enter this. Find your way to the Twitch chat. Um, and when requested during the break, go ahead and enter the word volcano. Oh. Um, that'll that'll put you in the entry. We'll come back with a winner in just a minute. We're gonna go ahead and have a quick uh, quick break of some food, and uh, we'll see you here in just a minute, guys. Yay! 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 Volcano. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Bradley. I play Samuel Tarly in Game of Thrones, and in this game, I'm going to be playing Mankum, the Bardic Gnome. I'm great, and I know it. When traversing the open road of the Black Valley Path from Joran Village to Westeran, it's best to travel in numbers, if those numbers are large enough, that is. For not two days' travel with the caravan southward, the sounds of war drums and savage battle cries suddenly fill the air. Hired guards encircle the patrons only to be cut down by a hooked blade and poisoned arrow. 
Ravagers, the scattered orc raiding band, bear down on you and your traveling companions. You fight to the best of your ability, harnessing the fight side of your fight or flight, but the orc numbers are overwhelming. You hear a terrible roar, a deep resonant bellow in the distance behind you. You turn to see, whack, a sharp pain in the back of your skull, then darkness. Hi, my name is Jessica Chobot. I am playing a tiefling warlock by the name of Dietrich, who's a little bit of a noob to her demonic powers, but when S hits the fan and the darkness sets, she is on fire and will kill everyone. My name is Liam O'Brien. I play Vax Hildan, the half-elf rogue. He's a bit of a shithead, but he would do anything for his twin sister. I'm Laura Bailey. I'm playing Vexalia, the half-elf ranger, twin sister to Vaxil Don, who is unfortunately not as cool. I'm Dan Casey. Today I'm playing the dwarven rogue Dupont Dupont. If there's coin to be had, I'll be there. Cha-ching. Okay, so you guys are staying put. You're waiting for the orcs to come to you. Oh shit, are we? I think we should. Uh, so we should run. We are should they right on top of us? No, no, you guys? just hear them in the distance. Oh, we should Where's... run then. But I'm still gonna carry you. Oh, okay. that's sweet. All right, so for order on combat here, um, what'd you get for? I initiative? got a seven. A seven, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Mancom, what'd you get? Oh, 17. 17, nice. Okay, um, so that brings us to Vax. Uh, 24. 24, and I'm nice. hoping I'm still natural 20 stealth at this point. <laughs> You're hoping. I'm hoping. Don't worry, I'll just Alrighty. <laughs> 17 as well. 17 as well, Alrighty. So we have I'm Vex and Man come in the same turn. Uh, I got an 11. An 11? Mm-hmm. Alrighty, and Hubris is last. All right, so this large hulking cyclops that's now kind of stepping in between the path to exit of this cavern and where you're standing. You see like with its large bellowing scream, bits of flesh and bile are kind of flung from its teeth and kind of spatter on the ground in front of it. Well, myself and Vax realized that we were up against a creature that was so huge and and we realized that we had to use quite low center of gravity in order to get to it. Vax, you're up first. Okay, so I was just about to throw my dagger at that orc and I heard that and said, oh, fuck me running. <laughs> and I throw it at the Cyclops instead. Go for it. Uh, uh, that is a 23. 23 hits. Okay. Where the hell is it? That's right in front of me. That's it. That's seven. Seven. man come, you guys are up next. So okay. At the same time, Oh, actually. uh... Nice and more invisible. You are invisible. 13 total. 13 points of damage with the first strike. So the dagger <laughs> sticks into part of its torso and <laughs> goes to knock the sword out of its chest, but it blinks back to your belt. Uh, I will use bonus action to fucking hide. Okay. <laughs> so you, you dart around the backside of the tent to try and obscure your vision from it. Go ahead and roll stealth again. All right. Uh, that's all right. Uh, that's a 24. 24, okay. So as far as you know, it doesn't see you. All right, that brings us to uh, Vexalia and uh, Mancom. What are you guys doing? We decided to use the two of us plus a newly invisible rope to try and aim straight at this guy's ankles, try and trip him up below his field of vision, really try and and, and get him sneakily uh, from below. We got a great idea. Yeah. What we're gonna do? We're gonna get a length of rope that we've kept on. Our, we've kept about our persons. Right. We're gonna take an end each. And run him, because yeah. we're still invisible, we're gonna run and, run him, and try to... Run at the shins, try and trip him. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. He did great for his first time. He pulled some uh, creative and ridiculous ideas out of his butt, which is the heart of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, John thought outside the box and uh, <laughs> used the dice as a skeleton and let his imagination uh, go nuts up. What I thought was cool was when John had the idea to, one, use the invisibility to get out of detection from the orcs, but then use that momentum when the Cyclops had emerged to uh, uh, share the rope that he had within his, his pouch, his, uh, his bag, with Vex and try and trip the Cyclops, which unfortunately didn't quite pan out how he had hoped. The invisibility rope, I think, would, was a really good idea if I'd have been able to pull it off. <laughs> Darn those rolls! Uh, but no, he he held on to it so well. Then my character just like totally shit the bed. Um, but yeah, me and John ended up partnering up on a lot of things. He cast invisibility on us, and we ran around and uh, and wreaked havoc. As you clutch the rope and pull it out, it's, as it's being wielded by you, it's currently invisible. As you guys charge forward, you watch as the center of rope seems to appear out of nowhere, just a small like foot or two, yeah. suspended and rushing forward. The Cyclops does not see it. I need both of you guys to make athletics checks. Oh god, oh god, okay. Do this, guys. Thank athletics. god oh, he no. has no depth uh, perception. However, you have advantage because you are invisible and he doesn't oh, see you there. Okay, um, okay. 18. 
18. Oh no, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> oh, no. oh no, I got a two. <laughs> With oh, advantage. No. With yeah. advantage. All right, so here's the deal. You guys go go rushing by and the rope wraps around. Uh, you manage to get like a nice dirty pull and as you tug, the Cyclops kicks on one side, just stepping forward instinctively to go towards whatever stabbed him with the dagger and you get flung uh, <laughs> from the edge of the rope. <laughs> Tumbling oh. backward, you're still invisible, but you uh -huh. boom, 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 skitter across the ground. Great. Um, you take three points of bludgeoning oh. damage from the tumbling and impact. That was a fun idea. Um, the rope is still kind of wrapped around one of its legs and a dangling, oh, but it's it not. It was like a bolo, or is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, um, but but it didn't go around both legs because it kicked one off. However, you still have the rope at your disposal. Um, anything else you want to do on your turn? You have a bonus action still if you wanted to like either inspire somebody or. Uh, can I inspire? Depart. Yeah. How do, you, how do you want to inspire him? I want to. I want to inspire him to. Um, what kind of what kind of conditions are he in at the moment? Uh, currently, he he looks. Uh, his ego's bruised, but he looks physically all right. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just try. What am I doing? Yeah. Come over and help. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Come I over just and help. Uh, slow to start sometimes. <laughs> all right. His voice is commanding for a small gnome, and yes. you feel yourself invigorated with this guy's a plan. I'll follow suit. So give yourself a D8 inspiration die that you can spend to add to like an attack roll or a saving throw or Perfect. things like that. All right. Cool. So that's mm -hmm. the end of your turn. So yeah. you mark off one of your inspirations there. Okay. All right. That brings us next to uh, the Cyclops' turn. The Cyclops is going to rush forward now. You get dragged a bit behind it, the rope is pulling you forward, but you're still holding on tight as you come rushing towards it. It's going to make one great club attack against you as you're rushing in its direction, and a second at Hubris, who's like behind you going, uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to, oh god! Uh, the attack towards you is, that's going to be 24? That's, that's a hit. Okay, it's like being hit with a tree going at 50 miles an hour. Um, that is... 24 points of bludgeoning damage. But don't worry, I'm going to uncannily dodge. Okay, so you take half that damage. Thank oh, God. That's uncanny. So you, you manage to try and whip out of the way in time. It still hits you in the shoulder, and you spin and land on your knees and get back up. It hurt, but could have been a lot worse. <laughs> um, we'll see how Hubris is. Oh, he gets hit as well. Oh, no. Okay, that's 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Hubris is still up, but not looking too hot right now. All right, uh, so the two club of smacks. Whack, whack, and you can hear now cheers in the back, and you kind of glance over and you can see a bunch of the orcs towards the back of the cavern are now just watching, like it's a gladiatorial event. They're like, <laughs> and they're just, just, they're excited to watch you guys get smashed by one of their captive <laughs> entities. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, that brings us to DuPont, it's your turn. So I think my favorite moment of the session for me was when I wanted to shoot the Cyclops in the eye with my crossbow bolt, and my infamously bad uh, dice rolling said, <laughs> Absolutely not. This is not happening this day, my friend. You're gonna die. But thankfully, because John was there, he used Mancom's ability to inspire me, and that gave me an extra die, and then I magically rolled an eight and got to blind a frickin' Cyclops. About time. All right. <laughs> Let's see how you try this one on for size. And I'm going to try and make a called shot with my crossbow to his eye. Okay. Ooh. Go ahead and roll for an attack. It's with disadvantage. <laughs> All my attacks are with disadvantage. <laughs> That's my secret. <laughs> oh. Well, <laughs> mm, 10. <laughs> All right, so you're adding this to it. Eight. That is an 18. That's an 18. 18 will actually hit. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, I love that tiny man. <laughs> so as you hear the words echoing through your mind, you, you take your crossbow up and release a shot as the Cyclops, after slamming down Hubris to the ground, gives a big roar. Yes! And it, like with his other hand, lifts up and grabs it on its face. And you see it trying to open the eye, but like the lids squint shut, and a bit of blood begins to pull out the side. Uh, it's currently blinded for the next round. Yeah. So, what are you doing on your turn? Can I hit him with a hex and then follow it up by with an agonizing blast? If you hit him with it with a hex, you're uh -huh. gonna lose the uh, the void spell. Oh. So you have to concentrate to keep it there. But but you can do eldritch blast without dropping it. All right. Well, then let's do that. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hit him with the Eldritch Blast, and then I doubled down on the Eldritch Blast when I was running out to save Trinket. So, yeah, man, I just fucking killed it in that battle. All right, go to a rat, roll up to attack him twice. You have advantage, because he's, well, he's no longer blinded, actually, so you just. Ooh, 20. Oh! oh. Hey. All right, so roll a d10. That's times two on that. Nine. So it's two plus four. It's six points of damage. <laughs> and then roll another attack, as you put your second blast against it. 
Ten. Ten plus uh, eight. For that hits. Yeah. So roll damage on that one more time for the okay. second blast. Come on. Come on, big ten. Yeah. Ten. Oh, that's ten. Yo, oh, sweet. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're good. You're good. <laughs> That's 14 points of damage. Zero, zero, one. <laughs> as, as you blast it, you watch as as the, the first hit boom, hits one arm and part of the muscle gets torn open. It drops the club and as it spins around, it tries to backhand whatever direction uh, you are. You step out of the way okay. and with a secondary blast from your hand, it smacks it right in the spot where your uh, arrow had hit. The throat tears open against the poor blood and you watch as it reaches up and grasps it, at which point the tentacles grab its body and begin to pull it into the void as its body gets slowly crushed in like a small singularity. Disappears in the darkness. The portal This is the very first time I've ever played D&D in my life. It genuinely is. I, I, I kind of knew what to expect just because some of my friends are into it and they've spoken about it, but I've never actually sat down for a game. It's kind of a it's kind of a good place to start. It's kind of a really high standard straight off, and I've yeah, I had an amazing time. It was really, really nice. Another modern folk hero enters our realm of adventure in Celebrity D. Yes! <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I interrupt your viewing to deliver a message. Something is coming. A macabre story that will reach through your screen like a great snake and grab a hold of you and slowly, slowly, slowly consume you until the imagined shell of your safety is cracked. These are the sagas of Sundry. I am Mr. Ren, and there will be... Dread. <laughs> Ending and new shows are beginning. It's an exciting week over at Nerdist, Geek and Sundry, and Alpha. So let's see what you missed. Talison Jaffe was the special guest model on this week's Project Pixel, giving Havana and Veronica Gallardo the opportunity to draw his angsty character Caden from Sagas of Sundry Dread. If you follow along, be sure to send us your results. Once you've learned how to draw, you're only a writer away from creating your own comics. And on this week's roundtable, Chip Zdarsky, Ed Brubaker, and Chris Burnham are chatting about the dynamic between a writer and an artist. Over fancy drinks, of course. If that's not enough comic book content to satiate your FOMO, join Hector, Damien, and Ashley as they read the acclaimed four-part series, Marvels, by Kurt Busiek and Alex Ross. If painting tiny things is a hobby you wish you had, check out the Geek and Sundry Painters Guild over on Alpha. Follow along with host and newbie mini painter Will Friedel as he learns the process of painting and creating minis from the best of the best, like Crit Roll's Matt Mercer. Ninja Turtles fans, you won't want to miss this week's Talkin' Tunes, which featured the entire original cast. Check out this hilarious Seinfeld scene they performed as the Turtles. My mother caught me. Caught you doing, doing what? You know, I was alone. Oh, you mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> she caught you? <laughs> I'm sorry. It is Woo. not funny, Elaine. I know. <laughs> For the next few weeks, we are interrupting your regularly scheduled Nerdist News Talks back to bring you All Kings Considered. If you need somewhere to dump your Westerosian conspiracy theories every week, this is the spot. The end is nigh, folks. Winter is here. Let's discuss. The stars, they're just like us. Especially Game of Thrones' is John Bradley because he plays D&D. And if you'd like to see him do just that, check out Celebrity D&D over on Alpha. If you need your D&D fix to go, Critical Role is available as a free podcast on your convenient listening device. And before you say, but I've listened to every episode, I say, nay, you have not, because new episodes were just released today. You're welcome. 
Hopefully you didn't miss the exciting and ridiculous season two finale of Vast, but if you did, here's a sample of what you need to catch up on. I don't know how hungry I look, but I'm hungry for some flesh and I'm ready to get busy. Did you get on this ship to not have sex with me? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know one thing, okay? Oh this, I just want to know one thing. Thing. Okay, and I am taking off my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think Rick has to do a one result thing. check because his ready. intention was one thing, and now it's like <laughs> a, a space that can only take yeah. so much, okay? <laughs> And to wrap up the week, we're giving away some awesome Fantastic Beasts merch to Alpha subscribers who participate in the What Fantastic Beasts Would You Like As A Pet post over in the Alpha forums. That should give you enough to catch up on. Thanks, as always, for watching Nerdist, Geek & Sundry, and Alpha. We love you.
Oh, and welcome back to Critical Role. <laughs> Um, that was a barrage. Yeah, yeah. that was that was making up for the uh, beginning of the game. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, so like the yeah, we have a winner uh, in the chat. We have Johnny Two X Forty is the winner. Congratulations, 2X40, Johnny Two X Forty. The Nova will contact you shortly to get your information <laughs> and uh, we'll get that shipped out to you ASAP. Signed by the cast. So congratulations. All right. <laughs> so. Back in. As the rumbling continues to grow and swell, you all hold yourselves in place. You hear the crumbling and crashing of stone and rock as from the side of the hallway, right next to where Grog is standing, maybe about a foot and a half in front of him, you watch some large pointed object just pierce through the wall, maybe about nine feet tall or so, just go <laughs> out, sending dust and rock spilling out, and there's a, a faint orange glow from what appears to be some smooth armored head to some large creature with a, a toothy mouth that opens up and <laughs> as it bites down, you see rows and rows of teeth that are glowing orange as bits of molten rock are spilling out the sides of the mouth. You, it, it's like 2006 is the core. <clears throat> yeah. Shit. <laughs> sort of. Watch I hope it's better than that. Um, it's 2006, don't quote me. Yeah. Um, you recognize the shape of the front, especially you, Percival, as you spent some time with a creature of a similar shape. Is um, it a purple worm? Is it like a purple worm? No, because no. it has two ar- big muscular trunk like arms as it kind of <laughs> out in front. Oh, no. Boulette, boulette. Um, but it has no eyes. It just has the solid armored front and what looks to be like heated edges where the plates meet. It seems to be some sort of elemental infused or variant of the bullet that you encountered before. And as it breaks through and stops mere inches from Grog, turn that. It's a sentient bullet. Happy birthday. Yeah. Across the way, oh, no. you hear a low rumble again, and it goes. <laughs> stomps the ground, and you watch from one of the other walls, strutting from it, what looks to be a smaller version. In a second, emerges two children. They both emerge going. <laughs> as you're all just. Standing there, holding perfectly still. They can't see us. We'll just stand still. We'll be really fine, right? Jurassic Park rules. Oh, oh yeah, that. Oh, no. attack. They can smell. Can you do any of them? One of them turns around and starts. Walking slowly towards the direction that Grog is. <laughs> the large mother <laughs> and turns Grog, and you kind of have to lean back as it, the nose sweeps past and is facing right in your direction. You can see these large holes in the front of its armored snout go. <sighs> the mouth slightly cracks open and curls back into this, you can almost imagine it to be a grin. Can I quietly go into a rage? (laughs) (laughs) You are are not my parents. Well, as none of you have done anything at this point in time, I need you all to roll initiative. Okay. That's what it was. That's what it was. There. Bitch! I heard you saying it too. You should have done it. You should have just done it. Mm. What? Do what? Yeah. Something. Don't worry about it. Fuck's sake. No! God damn it. Get no. a hard time every time I do it. Look at that. Oh, Look at that. Sneak attack? Yes. Yeah. That's good. Fuckers. <laughs> so Grub, who stopped here, was the last to leap. He looked at me all the way over here. Over here, well. Trinket's in the necklace. Trinket's in the necklace. 
we were on the broom. Room over here. We might still be able to do it. Vax. Where were you? You were still up there. Uh, I was near the lead, so. That's you be on the over here, stealthing behind this rock. Whoa. What a great tour. Do it, do it, do it. This is really cool. <clears throat> oh, God, it's no. huge. <laughs> Graga. Uh. Little baby, bulletty. Whoa. Oh, God, that Duke is huge. No. No, I didn't call it. It's too late. Do like we him. remember what its weaknesses were? Um, I know it takes half damage. It's got heavily half damage. I think two non-magical physical attacks. That's right. Um, he's got heavily armored skin. Other than that, I don't know. Ooh! Oh. Did a new light just pop on? And uh, another light a bit of there. for a red lava <laughs> effect <laughs> in my eyes? Into your eyes, Sam. That's why I do this. All right, so initiative order, 25 to 20. Oh, 20. 20 to 15. 17. 19. 18. Ooh. Does it realize that anybody but Grog is there? Uh, You don't know. We're st- we we could have potentially. I bet you still can. All right, uh, and you were 17, you said? 17. All right. Here we go. This is going to be fun. All right, uh, 15 to 10? 13. 12. My lowest possible initiative. <laughs> oh. Did you roll a one? I rolled a one. Oh. All righty, so top of the round, as all of them seem to shift it in the direction of Grog, who is now quietly raging. <laughs> Vex, you're up first. What do you want to do? Um, I'm going to... Oh, God. I'm going to try to hit it with a, a lightning arrow. Which one? What do you mean? What animal? There's three of There's them. There's a mama and two bebas. I'm going to try to hit the one that's that's breathing on Grog. All righty. So go make your attacks. Yeah, provoke the thing with its teeth closest to me. I'm just fucking. Around. But it knows you're there. Does it? Maybe it doesn't know I'm there. Plus, I get a sneak attack on it because it's you're right next to it. It's true. <laughs> and I'm on a hunter's market. <laughs> there, look at that. <laughs> I say. Uh, she said, says to you. Twenty-five. Twenty-five hits. Lovely. Okay, Mark. so if that was a third level um, lightning arrow. Then yeah. that means I get um, 3d8 lightning damage in addition to my regular damage, or is it just 3d8 lightning damage? Uh, it'll say wait, 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 wait. Roll the attack as normal. The target takes 4d8 lightning damage on a hit. Um, oh, and every creature within 10 feet makes make it a dexterity saving. Throw. Come get some. Yep. Okay. Uh, if I cast it at a fourth level, so no, so it's just third level. Just third level, yeah. So, so it just 48. it's 48 lightning damage. Okay. So, so you made the attack roll, it hit, so it takes that. Wow, really? Eight, nine, uh, plus. Grog, make a dexterity saving throw, please. Thank you. I have advantage on those, but I won't need it, because that was 19. 15, so that, it doesn't actually do my regular arrow attack damage. No. It's just, wow, my spells are useless compared to my regular attacks. 21. Fif- 21. 15 damage. All right, so 15 damage, and then 2d8 to Grog, roll 2d8. And you take half that because you made your save. Nineteen. It's right on the paper. Negative two. Sorry. Oh, nineteen. Yeah. You, you still made your save. Yeah. Okay. So what's the damage? Uh, five. Five damage to you, Grog. Thank you. Five total, or that's half. That's five total. All right. So you take two points of lightning. <laughs> Not too bad. So I'm gonna try to hit it again then with lightning arrow. Yeah. Well, no, no. You. <laughs> Interesting point of order. You did lightning arrow as a bonus action. Oh no, I did. You did Hunter's, Hunter's Mark, mark. Oh, so okay. no Hunter's Mark. Oh, so I did Hunter's Mark, no. Action, 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 oh. action, 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 action. I just am never gonna do spell attacks ever again, because they're worthless <laughs> for me. So no Hunter's Mark, but you hit it with the lightning arrow. Okay. Next round, you can worry about that. Okay. All right, so, so that's that... your first attack. You have your second attack. Okay, then I'm gonna attack it. Go for it. With a regular ass arrow that does more damage, probably. Natural, Natural 20, 20. <laughs> than a fucking nice. lightning arrow. Bush. Uh, you do not do your sneak attack damage last round, so if you wanted to do sneak attack damage on this, you can. Okay, lovely. 
which means you also double the sneak attack damage. Sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seven, 14 plus eight is 22, 24 plus lightning damage. <laughs> 24 plus five is 29 damage with a regular arrow. And that's with the additional sneak attack? Yes. Oh, oh no, I get two sneak attacks. <laughs> plus another four, so 30, um, you know, 29 plus four, 33. 33. Sneak attack that bridge. 33 points of damage to it. Do I take that too? No, yeah. that's regular. So as, as you release the flighting arrow, it slams into it, kind of, <laughs> look, kind of like shoots the direction where it came from, and as it seems to open up its snout to smell, you fire a second arrow into its mouth, and it kind of starts writhing in place. As it does, it shakes, and you uh, you feel the ground kind of uh, just just quake in your presence, and a few rocks kind of oh. from the ceiling, and the children kind of join the wail. And they all turn in your direction. Um, you got anything else in your turn? Can I get on my broom? Uh, yeah, you get on your broom. I get on my broom. That's all you do? Yeah. All righty, Grog, you're up. Oh, I am, huh? Mm -hmm. At the beginning of your turn, the heat emanating from this bullet that's right next to you is rather intense. Uh, you immediately suffer from just proximity to its searing body. Um, 11 points of fire damage. Whoa. How much? 11, 11 points. points. Just from knowing the guy. That's not bad, yeah. Are these monsters or beasts? Guilty by association. These are considered monstrosities. Okay. Uh, what is the, uh, how tall is the area that we're standing in? Uh, the, the top of the cavern would be about maybe 10 feet. Nice. Like uh, 10, 12 feet. With my 10, 12 feet. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, make both of my attacks at Mama Bear. Yeah, because I gotta move. Either I move and it senses the non-stealthy me. Yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna take both of my blood axe attacks at it with the first one, great weapon master. Go for it. Yeah, not reckless. Uh, twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. Just barely. <laughs> okay. Uh, Awesome. 26, 36, 36 points of damage. 36 points of damage in that first hit. Not bad. The axe cracks into the side of its body, and you see the, the armor kind of crack a little bit where it hits. You pull the axe free, you can see the blood kind of pour out as it spills and hits the ground. You can see the actual blood in their body is superheated as well. Ooh, that's a problem. Okay. okay. The blood in our body. They're like, alien, they're like xenomorphs. Uh, I'll take the second strike as well. Great weapon master, not reckless. Okay, not reckless. That's shit. That's gonna <coughs> miss, I think. Well. Yeah, 20. 20 hits. Oh, See, really? really big. No, no, no. We're learning, we're learning things. 15, because I said great weapon master. You did, five. that misses. Yeah. Somewhere between 15 and 20. This is one time you do swing and it hits, but the angle of the axe blade, it hits the edge of its head, like plate or armor, and scrapes off the top with a shower of sparks off at the side, no damage. Missouri, Missouri. And I use my bonus action to rage or not? Um, well, you were quiet, you were, yeah, so you were beginning to quietly rage. Fair enough, ends my turn. Yeah. Fair, 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 fair. You want to move? No, I'm right, in, I'm right next to it. Scanlan, you're up. Get away from the lava. Thoughts, comments. Boy, man, I don't know what these things can do. Uh, I will step forward a little bit. Super tanky. Super tanky. Like mm -hmm. 10 feet, 5 feet? Uh, that's good enough for now. Okay. And I'll just keep going. There's lava. Careful. Thanks. There? <laughs> sure. Um, I will inspire Grog yes. by singing <laughs> the customary birthday song of his people, <laughs> which goes like this. Happy, 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 <laughs> happy, happy, happy. They're very simple yeah, people. Yeah, <laughs> happy, 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 happy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you sang that better than mom before I Did I have a mom? <laughs> uh, and then, as practice, 
I'm going to become my beautiful angel self and transform into a, a naked planetar. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wow. Go a planetar. I, I assume I lose my poison... Uh, I you I lose everything, right? I lose my hero's feast. I lose my you? Nah. my Why? poison because I'm a different creature. So nah. it's still in your blood. I don't think so. I do think Is this so. true, Polymorph? Yes. Maybe you get it back when you. Back but literally, it's it like it'll reset. it'll say it has shape change. Like you absorb your armor. You happen to have a planet's heart figurine. I I oh I my god. Heard. Guys, I better. I'm gonna feel really shitty about this. Stuff. Magic: The Gathering puzzle quest. Did I mention <laughs> that you can find out more at Bitly slash Magic Roll? You did actually. Capital M, capital R on that, by the way, guys. Visit it right now. Friends of the show, they need your support. That's right. You know those uh, first generation I'd... black lotus cards can go for like thirty thousand dollars depending what? on their condition. And Is it like the alpha style with the black border. Yep. Right. Band cards. Matt yeah. is really looking for this thing. In the meantime, let me just tell you some other amazing Magic you know, Gathering cards. I think cards. I probably set it aside and forgot to Time take the actual bag. However. Jace the Mind Sculptor. I've actually performed <laughs> the Jace the Mind Sculptor. It takes three friends to really pull it off. Naked, it naked Singularity. Oh, the card. Okay. Not, not a sexual position. Yeah, we'll say for the purposes. The yeah. prison guard is definitely a, yeah. a sexual position. For the purposes sure. yeah. of, because uh, it is the same, it's a large creature, right? Uh, it is. We will use. Oh, good old Doty as the current oh. uh, the current size of your I can touch my miniature. <laughs> yeah, you feel good. Feels good. Doty's I working. You'd be big there big because big otherwise big. you'd be stepping into lava. So. Oh, okay, thanks. That's but yeah, so that's it. I think that's all I can do. You can continue to move if you want. Uh, oh, that's interesting. As that guy, can I move more? Well, you moved maybe most of my movement. Fifteen is... feet. Okay. Just so, more space. I'd say you probably have, at his flying speed, maybe a third of his fly speed left. That's another 40 feet. <laughs> <laughs> so there is that. All right. Well, then <clears throat> you guys got this well in hand. I'm going to fly to the other guy. Is he going to get nice. an attack on me? This guy here? Yeah, as I fly by. Uh, if you fly to him and you're kind of gliding above right now. No, I'm going to go to the fur furthest guy. Over here? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you're currently floating above the lava. It's not affecting you. Um, as you fly by, um, <gasps> because you're flying, no, the, uh, okay. I will say the mom bullet does not rec notice you pass. It's not get an attack of opportunity. I'm the girl. <laughs> Essentially. Oh, the All right, that ends your turn. Yes. Vax. Okay, uh, click the boots. <laughs> Hunter's mark on mama. <laughs> So what's what, all that's left? All that's left is dagger, dagger, dagger. So I'm gonna do sharpshooter throws with all, with the three daggers that are left. Okay. Okay. Am I within 60 feet? I think I am. You are. Yes. All right. So negative five on attacks. The first one is total shit. The second one is uh, 17. Does 17 that, does not hit. does not hit. And the third it one ricochets off the blue. Uh, 23 on the last. That does hit, yeah. Okay, so uh, because Grog's right there, it is sneak attack. Mm -hmm. <sighs> One, so it is nine plus, that is 10 plus this. 10, 13, 18, uh, 24, 30, 33, 35, 36, 37. And because it was a sharpshooter attack, it's 47. Oof. Nice. Great. So that one, actually, uh, seeing the glow of the slight crack in the armor that Grog had left, the dagger just disappears inside the slight gap, and you see a splash of uh, like super hot, thick, viscous blood spill out and hit the side of the rock and then cool and darken as it does across the side of the cavern wall. Uh, and then for movement, watch this shit right here, folks. <gasps> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, because I'm hasted. 50, there you go. Wow. Wow, you can I did it my fucking self. self. Cool. <laughs> All right, then it's your turn. Yeah. Did it feel weird to have somebody else moving the people? No, it felt awesome. Did it? I didn't have to do a damn thing. <laughs> All righty. So that being the case, now brings us to. Oh, and Hunter's Mark. Yes, and Hunter's Mark damage. Six. Nice. Nice. Additional six damage. Ow. All right, so 
infuriated, it's now starting to stomp in the middle as it's hitting. The lava's starting to splash up around it. Um, the babies. The babies. This one right here <laughs> is only. I can only really make a bite attack right now. I can't make a leap because you're too close to it. But as you as you rush rush towards it, it, uh, it seems to like sense your presence from the movement of the wings, oh, so keeping cute. you aloft. And the baby's going to and lash out towards you. That is a uh, 18. Does not hit. Does not hit. As it snaps out towards you, it's it's saliva seeming to almost like spray like superheated liquid across. Um, does not attack you at all. <laughs> well, that got you. Got Dr. One. Manhattan in yes. the house. The other baby is watching oh. you by. Go running past. Yeah. Um, it kind of. It's gonna go ahead and make a deadly leap. A deadly leap. Is it 15? Oh shit! Oh god. He's dead. Every time that's over. That was the case half of you guys who have been dead a long time ago. All right, I need you to make a strength or dexterity saving throw. Your choice. Dexterity. All right. An advantage because of the boots. So that is a 27. 27, okay. So you're not knocked prone. Oh, good. But, but you do take, let's see here, 19 points of damage. Oh, no easy to attempt either. That's that's bludgeoning and slashing. That's just one um, attempt. Uh, well, but, 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 but you are pushed more. five feet out of its space. What was the total on that map? Right there. 19. 19. I forgot about the fire damage. Yeah. All righty. Uh, that's the two babies' turn. Keyleth, you're up. Okay, uh, battlefield changed a little bit. Um, so instead, can I do a um, chain lightning cuckoof out of the staff and hit all three of those motherfuckers? Starting with the big mama and branching off to the two other dudes? I could say you could do that, yeah. Yeah, I do that. Alrighty. I guess 10 d My phone has died, so I'm going old school. Oh, and it's a dex. No. Do you need this? I think it's, it's, I think it's oh, a battery? dexterity saving throw, and it's 10 d8. One, two, three, four, three, four five. Does anyone want to lend me their d8? Or so. oh, I can just roll this twice. I'll just roll five here. You have five there? Okay, okay, okay. On the invisible round button on the side. Oh, there I see it. Well, Ashley Thank Johnson, you. okay, yeah. okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Totally, yeah. It's fine. Uh, nope. Nope. And no. No one makes their save. They're big, hulking things. Torturers. Okay, I get to reroll ones because I'm a badass. You got a bunch too. Yes, I did. Nice. And Whoa. this is a Ooh. no. That's a ten. Ooh, ooh, that's good. Eight, six, okay, seven. okay. Um, five, four, and four is eight. So that brings us to thirteen. Another four. Wait, four and four seven. and eight. That was right, right? Yes. Yes. So you're seventeen now. Seventeen plus another four. Is 21 plus another five is 26 plus another four is 30 plus another six is 36 plus another another 16 total so 36 plus 16 is 52. 52 points of damage. Yeah, 52. Another one here. Yeah, 52. Oh, 52 plus another seven, so 59. Nine damage against all three of them. So as you stand wow. there in the middle and watch, watch one of them leap past and like pounce onto your uh, your lover as he's pushed out of the way, and you see Grog now kind of facing off with this giant gnashing mouth that is just spilling forth, like super hot liquid, the lava glowing in the distance. You know, you're having flashbacks to the last time you dealt with lava. Mm-hmm. You concentrate for a second and release the blast of energy as it arcs off, <laughs> slamming into each of them. You see them shake and quiver, their muscles tensing as they shriek in the middle of the uh, the cavern. <laughs> And kind of stagger backward, hurt, but seemingly still holding on. Um, <clears throat> all right, Percy, your turn. Um, I'm going to uh, activate silence. All righty. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's up. Uh, charge dis- diplomacy. I'm going to give it a little rev with my bonus action, and I'm going to. Uh, oh wow! Can I actually reach? I can't quite reach, but I can get close. Uh, I'm going to head in that. I'm going to head against that wall and start climbing up that wall. So, right here? Yeah, like up there. Doki, doki, doki. Put them up there. Just put me up there. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Okay. Here's your D8. Is all you're going to do the turn? That's my action, my bonus action, and my movement. All right, that's your turn. All right, now it's Mama Bullet's turn. Mama Bullet. Mama Bullet. 
uh, turns towards, or has been facing Grog this whole time after taking the dagger and watching you run past, seeing her maybe leap. But you still right in front of it. Attack you. That is a natural 18. On a natural 18, this is important. Um, so there's a total of 31 to hit. Uh, I, let me check. <laughs> yeah, so that's 45 points of piercing damage. Mm. Halved, we'll say 22. Plus 13 points of fire damage. And you are swallowed. Oh, on, an, on, an attack, on an attack roll of an 18 to 20, it swallows the target. And literally, I rolled a natural 18. What happens if you. It's always me. <laughs> it's always me. Yeah. Apparently, four, man. Four, four, what, what happens if you yeah. type the stone? Yeah, never, never mind. You know, I'm going to find out. No, no, we've, we've done this before. We have done this I'm before. Yeah. You are blinded and restrained worm, currently. Right? Okay, blinded and restrained. Um, All righty. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, now, now that you begins to. <clears throat> Shaza. Oh, shit. Goes right up into uh, melee range with Keyleth, who blasted it with the chain lighting before. Girl. Uh, okay, that brings us to the top of the round now. Vex, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna attack it with. I'm gonna Hunter's Mark it, All and right. then I'm gonna attack it with an arrow. Go for it. Bramble shot. Bramble <laughs> shot. How, how, how'd that go again? Bramble <laughs> shot. <laughs> Catherine have 25. In the house. Oh, can I do sharpshooter and do minus five to hit plus 10 to attack? Yeah. Uh, generally, you have to decide that before you roll your attack. Okay. You can just add it on, like, I rolled well. Can it also be? Right. So I'll say no, not for that first attack. Okay. You can for well, your then second this one like. is a bramble shot and it's 25 to hit. That does hit. Okay, cool. <clears throat> plus five <clears throat> plus eight is 13, 14, 15, 15. Plus sneak attack and lightning damage, 15, uh, 19, 23, 25, and then 4d8 piercing damage. God damn it. Um, 25, 30, 32. 32. All right, 32 points. And then he has to make a strength damage. saving throw. Uh, that, is a, that is a 20. Then he just succeeds. Okay. So as the arrow slams into the side, the brambles reach around, and you watch as these thorny vines that wrap around the body suddenly begin to blacken and burst into flame. And actually, by the proximity, the brambles actually begin to burn to cinders and then break off the body as it storms forward. I'm going to attack him again. Go for this it. time, I'm going to try it as a sharpshooter. Do it! Okay. You up next, Rob. <laughs> Natural 20! Yeah. Holy shit! Oh. All right, that'll and hit. Bramble shot! You talking Do all I have to say that before, too? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no, Bramble shot is to see if it hits or not. Oh! It's, 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 whether or not, it doesn't, not lose if you miss. It's you, if you hit, you can say Bramble shot, so. Can, oh, so yeah! Yeah, in the same way that Divine Smite can be done. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. All right, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna roll on my dice and then double that, and then I'm gonna add my extra things. How about that? Okay, do that. It's usually how you're supposed to do. I, all right, all right, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 11, 14, 20, 23, 25, 50, that's easy, 58, 60. 60 points of damage with one shot and secondary saving throw. Oh, uh, plus 10, because it was a sharpshooter. True, 70, 70 points of damage with a single arrow. You didn't add your sneak attack damage a second time, did I you? I did not. Good. All right, that is nasty. Uh, it actually rolled a natural 16 plus 6 for its uh, strength saving throw, so it's not affected by the bramble. However, it is looking rough. The second arrow hits to the side, and you watch as it streaks. Pieces of the armor kind of <laughs> fall off to the side, and you can see the striations of its muscle. And where the muscle tissue is, it's dark, but at the, at the seams, it's glowing orange. I didn't add the hunter's mark damage. There you go. Well, only extra two damage for that. Okay, there you go. Extra two damage. Right there. Fuck it. Seventy-two damage. But now it's bleeding everywhere. And wherever it's it's walking and you see it's thrashing about, it's just spilling off this heated liquid that's just pouring out of its wounds. Um, then in your turn? No, I'm gonna move because on moving? my broom, so he doesn't know I'm there. I'm gonna um, fly to here. Okay. That ends your turn. Grog, you're up. First things first, at the start of your turn, because you are swallowed by yep. the mom, uh, uh, you suffer 
42 points of fire damage. Oh, oh God! Please, Grog. Oh, it has to make Constitution saving throw to see if it spits him up first, actually, because he did more than 42 points of damage. Ooh. Or 40 points of damage. Uh, that is a 22. Yeah, it's fine. Wait, no, it's 25 DC. No, it does not. <laughs> yeah. So you do not take the damage because she did enough damage with that crit hit arrow that it oh, vomits you up. Boom. You are prone, though. Crit. Happy hit. birthday! Thank you. <laughs> you were only in there for a moment. <laughs> yeah. It would have burned you. Yeah, damn, that would have been a good 42 points of damage. So yeah. Gr- Grog just gets vomited up in front of me. Yeah. Yep, just and he's like, <laughs> there's, some, there's <laughs> steam and. Every s- fucking time. I... <laughs> you smell like shit. File a burning placenta, right? To Grog, it's your turn. <laughs> I'd like to stand up. All right. Jump into its throat. <laughs> Jump back <laughs> in. <laughs> Wee! Uh, and I would like to. Uh, Smash my Titan Stone knuckles together and cast in large at <laughs> Okay. Shut up. And with that, I can get some fire resistance because good. Skakar. Good God, 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 man. Big rock. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa what I is made. that? He swole. Have we? I don't think we've seen this. That's so. been it every time. Yeah, yeah. every time. Well, so I've been, been, so been so far away. Yeah, yeah. You're See always so close. far away that you've never actually looked at it. Oh, Grog is scary. Put me down. Fuck, I'm sorry. You're scary. Okay. <laughs> Could I do reckless <laughs> great <laughs> weapon mask? Yes, yes you may. Which is something Travis would say. Put me down. Put me down. This is something Travis would say. <laughs> Good. Minus five. Twenty-six. Yeah, that hits. Nice. Seven, 37 on the first. How do you want to do this? Yes! We got babies done. Yeah. Happy, 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 <laughs> happy birthday. After it just finishes vomiting you up and you get off the ground, still like feeling the sizzling of its salivary liquid on your body. Yeah. You sing the song to yourself as it writes itself, its mouth opens once more, and as you bring the axe down, around right the top of its head, you crack the center of its armored plate. The top of its head caves in, and you watch as the eyes just go dull, and the body <laughs> collapses and falls to the ground, unmoving. Yeah. Um, its body is still there, though, because it is very big. It only like loses about two feet of height oh as it collapses, and it's still blocking a large portion of that hallway right now. Right. So it's your first hit. Good deal. Oh. You still it. have half your movement still, because you used half of it to get up from prone. Right. Should I try and push him out of the way? Yeah, yeah. Just jump over. <laughs> yeah, just... just Vault over him. Yeah, I'll, yep, yeah, I'm gonna just ba-dow, over the side, hardcore parkour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One hand up. The Duke, the Duke boys just sliding over the hood of the car. Are you using your boots or just making, making an athletics check as part of your movement? That time, the boys. Yeah, let's use the boots. I know they were. Okay. Yeah, feral leafing. So go make your athletics check. To... That's gonna be a 26. All right, so you leap. 27. Where? Uh, to, uh, t- towards you, towards his left. Okay, so. Okay. Yep. All right. And I'll move you have, up. You have 25 more feet. Oh, I do, don't I? Yep, because yeah. you're a fucking barbarian. There you go, you can use your piece, look at that! Oh, oh my god. god! Can I get around here on the, on the, on the ground? Uh, yeah, you could. <laughs> um, you will take, uh, you can make an acrobatics check to see if you can avoid the lava as you do that. Yeah, kind yeah, of big. yeah, I wouldn't All right, make an acrobatics, not athletics. <laughs> Acrobatic 16. 16, you just barely make it around that corner, like uh, curling around. Nice. Um, so yeah, you don't you don't go foot first into lava like somebody else did earlier. I'm now envisioning going like, like over here. Mm. Beep, 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 beep. From there. <laughs> yeah, that, that's about where you can get okay. right there, yeah. I'm great there. Okay. That's the end of your turn, Grog. Scaling, you're up. All right. As my holy self. Imbued with the holy power of whatever I am, <laughs> with whatever I just sort of float up a bit, draw my great sword that I always use to attack because I'm <laughs> awesome, and just bring it down real hard on the on the head of the thing. Okay, so, go ahead and roll for an attack. So you're not naked. Ooh. Are you naked with a sword hanging from your hip, or are you like? He's hitting it with a stick. <laughs> no, I'm naked with a sword. I've got a belt. I'm Tight. naked with a belt. Tight. Um, that, He's Mr. November. That is uh, 21. 21 hits. Okay. Mr. November. 21 hits. The babies don't have quite as hard armor. So okay. as you bring the uh, the great sword down, you strike with this large swipe of bright divine 
radiant energy, and as it slams into the top of its head, it explodes with radiant power. Do I roll or do I use these stats? No, I you roll. roll. You okay. roll damage. Stats are for me. Okay. Uh, so 4d6 plus 7 slashing. 7, 12, 18 plus 7 is 25. Correct. Plus I need 5d8. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Use mine. They yeah, just yeah, did yeah. very five. good. Yep. Yeah, dude. Planetar form is messing around. Um, ooh, these are all bad. Oh my god. Uh, well, you didn't shake them, you just put them down. Yeah, that's what that I do. That was the sh- like, shadiest roll ever. <laughs> <laughs> if you did that in Vegas, they'd be like, oh the no. The boss over here disapproves. So, <laughs> plus 14. So that's uh, 39, right? 39, yes. On my first attack. Okay, so first off, before I forgot earlier, Grog, you did take another seven points of fire damage from just being in the proximity of the corpse, which is still emanating heat, by the way, so starting your turn near that. because I had resistance from the enlargement now. Correct. Well, at the top of your turn, you got that. Got seven Because you did not enlarge inside. Copy that. And you also, as your planetar form, did take 10 points of fire damage in your proximity to that one there as well, so mark that. Okay. However, you, with that first strike, slam down and cleave the head in half. You oh, watch as the, ba- the baby's head just oh, <laughs> You're taking 49 damage before from her chain lightning. Yeah. Oh, that's right. um, and so with that second hit, whack, it just kind of <laughs> and falls to the ground, no longer moving. There is only one currently living child on the battlefield. All right, well then I'll <clears throat> say a silent prayer for the, the fallen and then fly backwards super fast to the other one. Yes. And attack again. Okay. Maybe you can make it a pet. Don't poop on Nope. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh. Uh, 18. 18 still hits. Oh! Hey. <laughs> all right. Oh, look at all these crazy things. 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. Plus, that's not very good. Plus, all those. It was 12 plus 7. Oh, plus, that's right, 19. Okay, so 19 damage. Plus 6, 7, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Whatever I just said. Is that 19 plus 19? Yes. 19 plus 19. Okay. So 34? It's 38 damage. Oh. oh, thank you. That kills it, yeah. Ah! So you hack one down, dart across the way with your blade screaming in the air. It actually kind of cuts through the rock as it sparks across the ceiling. With what little space you have, your wings open. Shwa, slam down on the second child and watches its armored body cracks open. The, the radiant blast expands and bursts when the blade is actually dug a few inches into its, into its form, causing you to destroy it from the inside of its armored shell. You watch as its body kind of inflates for a second and then falls limp as smoke begins to pour from its wounds. So, with that, <laughs> I like that he was standing on you. For yeah, that. yeah. You guys have <laughs> trickled on me a little. Wow, wiped out the current danger Woo! of the battlefield. <laughs> I feel like there's more coming. No, no, uh, no. This, that was it. We definitely we're just, solved we're everything. We're just traumatized. And I mean, we are. I mean, the core is just gonna. The anvil is gonna float up. It's very hot. From the magma. It's so hot. So. <laughs> <laughs> As you heard it to this. Yeah. I pulled my leg earlier this week. Moving, oh, yeah. moving up and down kind of sucks. It's rude. Um, so as you sit there in the silence there for a moment, just hearing the occasional of the nearby lava that fills the nearby hallway, you don't feel any further rumbling. And there's just the heat emanating from the corpses of these three magma bullets. What do you do? Can I look around for anything that resembles an anvil or a shelf or something that one might whack a doodle on? Can make an investigation check. Nice. Watch me knock this out of the park. Let's do more of a perception check for this one. This is less of like searching. Right. That's better. Else. Still shitty, 11. Uh, and the the pathway still continues to descend and curve around, but that's it. The pathway still continues to descend and around. <laughs> wow, very observant of you, Gok. Des- descended around. What? Copy that. Can we Copy see that? now, because of all the glow <coughs> coming from, or? Does yeah, that yeah, put yeah, glow? Yeah. Yeah, well, the, the area in here, <laughs> most of you, aside from Percival, can see decently in low light anyway, um, or you know, dark vision. We do um, eventually have to. It's only been about twenty-five seconds, but we do eventually have to breathe. Yes. Oh, uh, oh, I use my chalice. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, so yeah. So you all take Pass another breath. <laughs> what, what about me? Uh, you, as a planetar. Let's see here. I think I'm dying. 
What? Why? I don't know. I think I probably need air. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you have a pretty high con bonus. You could hold your breath for seven minutes. I'll do that. <laughs> see how, oh, very see how Superman. fair. Do you still have Hero's Feast? No. Are you immune no, to you poison? Do. I don't think I do. I'm a new nope. I'm a new body. True true polymorph, you absorb your gear, but you and you don't benefit from it, but it doesn't say anything about you not benefiting from um, previous spells abilities. and bonuses. That's an interesting point. So I'd say that the you probably is, wouldn't have much of an issue. Not the body. Correct. Okay. Ha uh ha. -huh. Interesting. See it's all there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> But we're like True, along well, the path no, wait, wait. to the water that the I saw. The target's gear melds into the new form. The creature cannot activate, use, wield, or otherwise benefit from any of its equipment. But it doesn't say anything else there other than equipment. Thank you, Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> that one I'm with. You're very welcome. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. No. You're okay. So I'll up. I still can't breathe. No, you still have the 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 same effect earlier that so, she put on you. So you still oh, have the water breathing. Oh. Yeah. So I can breathe some water. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Cool. You're just not that you need to. Sure. Right. You're flying in here. The small space you have, sure, um, and being a large creature, like the fact that you even flew across, you were only maybe like a few inches off the ground as oh. you darted over. Um, it's only about, like I said, ten to twelve feet tall, and you're about maybe nine feet tall. Jesus. You're not a lot of room. <clears throat> oh, so you're like hitting crouching. the ceiling. And yeah, you're having. A I'm going to start peering around the corner with the flashlight. We're under two minutes away from the water that I previously made it up to and didn't go into. Correct. Correct. You're, you're, you're yeah. maybe like 40 seconds away from it. Okay. okay. I'm yeah. gonna head that way. Okay. Good dough. You guys dart around the corner and follow to the next pool. You have your means of passing water around and keeping yourselves viable, but the, the path continues to curve in almost like a like a haphazard spiral. It curves around, and then if you continue to watch as it passes, it evens out and then goes into a fairly steep decline, like a 45 degree, pardon, decline. Should I try flying down there? Well, with the brew, we're thirty we're seconds away from the back. I've already gone this way and come back to you guys. So, I mean, unless something has jumped in the hole while I, I was gone, in that time, I've already covered this ground. Uh, th yeah. This is further than you covered. Oh, okay. Like the, the, there, there's the pool of water you saw, and then if you continue around that way, you can see it curve as you glance around and it descends there's, at a steady decline. There's the, the pool of water is just a pool of water. It's not another small little. Pit. Yeah, it's a small little. Pit. It's I'm going to recast Pass Without a Trace it. on all of us. P.S. Okay. Just in case there's okay. more rumblings. Um, I can follow you down there too because I've got my boots on. Okay. So they do twins want to scout? Yeah. Sneaky sneak. Okay. okay. The pool of water, by the way, if you glance down and look past the surface, it does have a cylindrical tube that seems to be feeding the liquid into it, but it's much smaller. It maybe gets to about that big oh. of a pinching point before it vanishes out of sight. Of your hands? Oh boy. Yeah. Of like the pool. Mm -hmm. But continuing down the path of the tunnel as it curves around and then goes into the decline. Um, it continues and, and maintains its width of about 15 to 20 feet on either side, and you glance down the decline, and it looks like there's a portion of the ground that opens up, and glowing molten rock kind of slowly drips and dribbles down for about 40 or 50 feet. I'm going to cast Detect Evil. <laughs> And then wordlessly speak to you all. Oh, in our brains. Uh -huh. I like it. And say, "What, brothers and sisters? Oh no! Allow me to guide us by the spirits of my religious faith <laughs> <laughs> down oh, no. into the depths of this hell place." While he's talking, I turn to my sister and go. <laughs> <laughs> are you still you, Scanlan, just in another body, or are you really like? Yes, my child. Okay. Inside. Uh, boners and wanks. <laughs> <laughs> Love that song, Boners and Wanks. Boners it's and Wanks. It's you're nine feet tall, but your penis is still a cube. Mm. That's my choice. What about <laughs> So you can recognize me. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Manhattan, but the opposite. Yeah. If, I, if I die in a fight and you have to go to a lab and identify the body, That's the you'll one. be like, oh, it's him, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> and they shall know him by his cube. Sorry. <laughs> yes, lead and we're the back. way, okay, if we're you back. can. Okay. Lead the way. So you just glide down your own way. Yeah. The air is extremely warm. Uh, you feel as it passes by you. 
Um, holding your breath at this point, because you are not near any source of water, it looks like, and you're not carrying one with you. Mm -hmm. You glide down rapid speed past the lava, which eventually comes and cools to this like clump, this like small mound where it seems like a, a recent uh, kind of hole punched out of and then begin to dribble down, and it's been cooling and kind of causing this extra layer on the tunnel. Everything here seems to be in this weird state of flux. Um, you continue past it, and it just drops into a tunnel below, maybe about 20 or 30 feet wide, and just descends downward. Straight down. Straight down. I'll go down a bit. Okay. You descend about 30 or four feet, and this cylinder-like tunnel comes to a halt. It stops. Am and, I detecting any evil? Uh, you are not detecting any evil, okay. no. Do you have dark vision in this form? I don't know. What does it say? It says true sight. You okay. have, oh, I you, have true sight. you don't have dark vision, you have Everything you vision. vision. Your predator vision. <laughs> I can also speak every language. Really? <laughs> yeah. And Should given be. that case, as soon as you land, you look up and you can You're see across the rock here, there is one portion of the wall that is smoother than the rest in like a somewhat uh, concave, almost like a, like a perfect square across the opposite side. And you can see in there these very, very faint runes or glyphs that are pressed into the stone. Like, part of it has been untouched for quite some time. What do they say? Do they say anything? Are they, is there writing, or is it just symbols, or? Because uh, you can read any language, right? Yeah. yeah. It says Citizen of the world. <laughs> languages all. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is, okay. this is <laughs> the most irritated I've ever seen Matt. Matt's Planetar, just like, not Ayun? Yeah. Yes. Planetar. Yeah. This is yeah. how you must stay always. <laughs> I agree. Uh, glancing at, at the glyphs here, it, they don't appear to be a... Um, there are roots of magical arcane glyphs here, but the whatever enchantment there was here is very faint. It's more about the, the message or image that is sent here, and it is a... It is an exit seal. It is a, a final word of those that utilize the space within. And it uh, translates to, here the crafter's halls lay dark. The means of making the world ender gone. All hammer protect us all. All hammer. Wow. I don't know. Here the the all, the all hammer. Make a religion check. Well, the all hammer was. You're not. Oh, right. Yep. Yeah. Right. Hall remains dark. Looking. Right? Religion. Remains dark. I don't know. No, it would just, just make a wisdom check. 11 plus. I, I don't know. Of the I have yeah. 20, yes. Uh, and you were be calling a, that information. This isn't me. Yeah. I know, but it would it would be uh, it would be a. Uh, you you have this information in your mind. Okay. I'll say based on, on as long as you don't roll like a one. You don't remember it, but you remember it. <laughs> It'd be an intelligence roll. The Allhammer is the uh, one of the prime gods, one of the deities of family, craft, and uh, con construction of fine, important things. Uh, it is the patron saint of all craftsmen, blacksmiths, forge masters, artisans, um, and from the information you received from Ayun, the last, the, the creator of and last user of the core anvil. So it said the Allhammer. Lies beyond or something like that. It's dark. No. It's dark. No. No. It's, it's basically the, the it was it was an exit phrase placed on this door You're for the, the last person who was in oh, this. Here, the crafter's hole remains dark. The old hammer. Blah, 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 blah. Watch over us. Or something. Yeah. Watch over. Some about <clears throat> watching over us. Parking in rear. Watch. Yes. Yeah. Validate. <laughs> free parking. Before you leave. Yes. <laughs> Before you leave. But, yeah. Objects <laughs> and hammer are closer than they. They appear. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll fly back and report to the rest. Okay. In my pristine body, <laughs> my pristine hairless body, <laughs> and that is what I saw. <laughs> that, that was just all in our heads. We just yes. were just speaking in our heads that whole time. Impressive, Barbarella. I mean, I think that's what we're looking for, right? Yeah, so let's go. So, but it was a bit of a flight down. Yeah. That's okay. Yes. We have. Carpet. Yeah, carpet. Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back to being pristine. <laughs> this is. 
So just so everyone here understands, just imagine in between most conversations here, there's somebody just doing that into a small jar of water. <laughs> uh, and it's all like cloudy now yeah, from everybody. Oh, there's just, bits of food. Yeah, how often does it re up? Can you re up that jar? You're just, oh God, it's like nasty water. You're just motorboating a gravy bowl. It's like a horse trough. <laughs> Just hair. <laughs> it, it is getting a little thick. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So should we uh, should we head down there? Yeah, Did it seem like you could pass asshole. through that door? Oh, I didn't try the door. You didn't try to get through it. The lands. <laughs> It's all right. We can find a way. It's just a door. It's just a door. We'll be fine. fine. Yeah, we're great at your doors. Great at doors. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> All righty. So, <laughs> who's doing what to get down I'm there? I'm walking down there. The motorboat. I'm okay, you the comic book. on the side. What did you say? 40 feet? Flying down with a broom. All right, flying with a broom. Can you just hover? Can down anybody, there? does anybody else need a ride? Do you need to bamf your wings out, or do you want to get on the broom? I'm going to save those. I'll get on the broom. You're okay. offering me a ride on the broom. I've got the carpet. Lovely. Let's go. Kids on the carpet. Ooh. All right, so. Yeah, I'll take the carpet or whatever. All right, so it's Grog and Keel from the carpet. You two on the broom. Yes. You flying. We're good. Powers. The rest of you guys descend down the 45 degree gray to make it past where the lava seems to have stopped and cooled and begin to collect and thicken up. Um, eventually, you find the area where it drops off into darkness below this like cylindrical tunnel. You guys make it down the 30 or so feet where it stops, and you it takes you a moment based on where uh, Scanlan points you towards, but uh, you can kind of make out the runes he was mentioning. Uh, Percy, you're the only one who can read them. Yeah, it's more, more of that. All right. Yeah. Uh, what? What, is it? what does it say? What is it's it? It's sort of a uh, uh, shop's closed. Well, I can suppose. we reopen it? <clears throat> no indicator of that. It's it, it was essentially like a all right, keys locked up forever. Bye. What do bless, we do? bless the seal. Bust through this shit or undo it? Do we have a way to cancel the seal out? So it's quite literally like a family business. We're closed. We're tired. You get bars that. You get that it. sense. Is the, is the, the, the the forge was made by and for the use of the all hammer, and the all hammer is locked He's somewhere done. on its own plane across the other side of the divine gate, and has sure. been for eight hundred years. So, and we've got a god made doorway in front of us, and something made. You're not something sure. made door, right? And natural. Rock around it, or is everything Na carved? Natural there? volcanic rock. It's still yeah. that same kind of crumbly, porous, uh, black stone. Well, let's. Uh, I want to touch the, the door, see if it's got a. Okay. <laughs> it it feels like the rest of the surrounding there's stone. No, there's no obvious Probably. mechanism for opening it. Make an investigation check. Hopefully. Can I can I pray <coughs> to uh, Pelo? Ugh. Ugh. That was bad. That's awful. No six. No current sign of. Anything. Anytime I look for anything worthwhile, I just sort of stare at rock, going, "Huh." Oh, that's <laughs> me. Found rock. I'm just gonna pray to Pelo. Okay. I don't know if it makes a difference. What are you going to pray for? I'm going to say, um, "Well, <laughs> we are here at a doorway. Um, I don't know if you speak to uh, the All Hammer, if you know anything about this." But if you have any way to help us get through this, uh, now would be the time. I'm trying to do, you know, good work here for you and for all of mankind. What about your bean? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm gonna take the bean out and say all that shit again with the bean in between my hands. <laughs> um, Actually, I'm gonna whisper it to the bean. Okay. Because you know it's part of him, sort of. Can you hear the ocean? In the bean. <laughs> ocean <laughs> bean. Um, okay, uh, uh, putting the words and thoughts out there, like I said, prayer is still a foreign thing to you that you're yeah. slowly learning to do. Um, That's why it was so good. There's no, there's no words that respond, but you do get a warm sense just kind of pushing you forward. You get the idea from whatever guidance Pelor is sending your direction, and you can translate from your only recently somewhat faithful uh, heart <coughs> that you're on the right path. 
but that's as much as you can muster from the conversation. Thanks. I mean, I don't want to like jump the gun, but I did punch a volcano today. <laughs> this door, probably not too big a tuna for me to fillet, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, give it a shot. <clears throat> I mean, un unless the runes say, like, if you punch, melt you will. Yeah, um, it will collapse. Say anything like that. No, nothing at all. It just seems like it's just closed. What, what are they the glowing runes? Are they magical runes? Do they seem Actually, like this, they're magic? This is an interesting point I should have recalled. Grog, are you still in your large form or not? Yeah. How did you use the, the magic carpet to get across? Oh, shit. That carpet will not carry you in your large form. Oh, good point. Yeah, so... You're little. <laughs> no, or you uh, could have, like... Just slid down. And be like, oh, yeah, yeah. could go, you stretch to either side and he does, like, a ninja warrior shit oh, down the tube? Cool. Well, we don't know why the passage... Do well, that's what I mean. The passageway heading downward would probably be somewhere in the neighborhood of... between, like, 15, 20 feet, yeah, so... Yeah, that's nice. No. What if, like, a Wonder Woman sort of situation where you Because you got the siege gauntlets on. How long and you the make hand holds. Well, the drop wasn't you know the issue. It was, it was the 40 already. feet of lava that was, uh, oh, was lava? curling down. Yeah, you probably. I mean, you could fly down and then, like, put me in the necklace if you want. Yeah, sure. Yeah, well, that's what I did. Bottom. Pop, drink it out, flew back up, grab, grab. Okay. Dave back up. There we go. Just from a logistical standpoint, I recall that. Was like, hmm. Yeah, good call. Okay. So. What are you glowing guys going to do? Are the runes glowing? Are the, the runes not glowing? No, the runes aren't glowing. Uh, you get the sense, uh, Scalen, that it was less that they were glowing, more that your true sight revealed the presence of some sort of... To me, everything's glowing a little bit. <laughs> you are a little Neo in the Matrix in this new physical form. It's... <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of, tell me why so is sort of what I'm getting from, from you. You see auras. I mean, um, I, if he doesn't see it with his true I'm gonna, sight... I'm going to just take the, the, the sunstone like out of its little container and really light up the room and just Sort of, and just illuminate the whole room now. Okay. Is there like a, a doorknob or anything that looks like or a, a key seal hole or a device? Make or an investigation. Thing? Check. Yes. Thank you, somebody. Eighteen. Twenty-two. Ooh. Twenty-two. Uh, glancing about with the help of his light as well, you look and you can see, like most of the rock is just kind of, uh, it's jagged and broken in places, and as you kind of feel the edges, some parts flake off relatively easy. When you get to the section of where that that triangle, that rectangular piece of the wall is that the glyphs are put across, uh, it looks like it's a little smoothed over, like someone, you know, smoothed it down to make this this intentional seal. Um, but there's no sign of any sort of keyhole or a handle or anything. That you can push it. Let's just try being polite first. I will knock oh. on the door. Yeah. Heavy stone. All right, fuck this. I'll try. just try and push yeah. the door do toward, do like, either in and to either side. Make so a strength check. See if go. I can get you it. Go. You go. 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 Go strong, jaw. Go strong, jaw. Go. Go strong, jaw. Go strong, jaw. Go. Go. Strong, jaw. go, strong, jaw. go. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 17. You're inspired? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you Are you inspired? Are you inspired? You get just a D12. Right. Oh, it is? Yes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Awesome. 26. 26. Much. You jam your hands into the wall and then push. As you push and shove, your fingers are like grinding and breaking the actual stone until they feel something metal. It goes from like crumbling stone to a metallic surface. And as you kind of pull your hands back a little bit, you kind of pull away these giant chunks of volcanic stone, the actual runes and glyphs breaking around your grasp, and you can look inside and see what looks to be like hammered dark metal on the other side. You then put your hand in and shove as hard as you can, and with a very, very faint grinding, you feel it give about an inch, then another inch. And then eventually, it gives out suddenly. You watch as the entire square structure falls inward with a slamming echo sound that, that just echoes again and again down what appears to be a stairway that disappears from view about 20 feet ahead of you. Check the traps. You got it. We'll do it. <laughs> 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 no, that's not my thing. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Natural 20 doesn't mean you succeed, <laughs> right, necessarily. Yeah, suffer, suffer. <laughs> uh, 18 for me. All right. Um, both of you glance <laughs> throughout the initial. Oh, what do you roll eyes? <laughs> <laughs> through the initial steps into the hallway, um, which is now just just littered with broken rock uh, for the first ten feet or so, um, where the platform, where the, um, the large rectangular metal structure that fell over it. Um, no signs of any traps. No signs of any. Uh, Sort of tweaking with the floor walls for any triggers. Um, you do notice that the the metal the surfaces here are a, a texture of rough hammered metal. You can see like the series of small indentations, like all these have been hammered into place. Um, and the occasional looks like the seams where these large metallic wall slabs would be. Have a thin little placed bar over those as well. They're, you've gone from like central volcano, just natural emerging and expanding rock and lava, to a place of very uh, intense intended construct. Hopefully, like this is it. It is law firm. Yeah. Would my greedy <laughs> eyes know what kind of metal it is? Um. Good make an intelligence check. Yeah, 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 just pewter everywhere. It's all plus. Intelligence. Investigation? It's memory foam. Mm hmm. Well, this would be just an intelligence check, just a straight model. Oh. Memory foam. Well, 10. 10? Bed in a box. You're not entirely certain of the metal. It is a, um, a dark, kind of dull slate gray, not a little darker than that, even. And elements of the edges appear to be almost red, almost like a rust or ruddy color. Um, but you don't recognize what type of metal it is necessarily. I'm stealthing down the steps. I did cast Pass Without a Trace on all of us again a and while ago, but I have luck done it. Okay. Third of the yeah. day. Ooh, natural I said 20. it. I even marked it off after the fight. Okay. You roll natural 20 on. Yeah, using a luck. Using luck. Yeah. So you are. You used three lucks today. Three of my four, according to your campaign guide. The campaign guide was something that was for other people to use. <laughs> As, as sort of as sort of an inside joke okay. for the previous, Are you uh, my dungeon master. More than three luck. <laughs> okay. um, however, as you've embraced, well, that was my third, not my fourth. Yeah, that was his third. That was right. my third. Right, right. I'm 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 saying for the purposes of the guide being released and you embracing your fate touch nature and the <laughs> the the extremely uh, dutiful adherence. To the law of your Raven Queen. Yar yar. Um, sure, I'll give you a fate touch additional fourth luck. Oh, he's throwing you a bone! Wow. Wow. She heard you say I have you know seven lucks. He she doesn't have enough you know bonuses. He likes you. Because he knows that Liam bought the book. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I did buy the book. I bought the I book, bought the book too. <laughs> I bought the book too. What do I get? <laughs> You get an awesome angel dick. <laughs> one inch cube suddenly grows. Angel Wang. I get two inches. Inch, yeah. Angel Wang, by the way, is a good band name. Angel, 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 angel Wang. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaks all languages. I'm going to fly over to Max and just wordlessly say to her Be honest. Do you think I'm more handsome like this or as normal Scanlon? Be honest. I'm gonna think in my head. Scanlan's the best. Be aware that, as a divine being, I can sense any lie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. oh no! Scanlan, darling. I mean, you're fucking hot right now, right? <laughs> but I love you like you were. Hmm. You're I'll always my favorite when, you know, you're just yourself. All right. Thank you. I'll turn my little naked butt to her. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this this hallway that you guys have pushed through now, it's about 20 feet wide, 30 feet tall, and these long uh, ceiling gradually curves to an apex point, almost like two adjoining uh, sides of a roof. Mm. And it just continues to progress forward and then descends with the staircase. Are the walls hot to the touch, since they're metal? 
Uh, you go, you put your hand out and feel it, and yes, they are. Mm. The wall, like it's not like, tss, but but your hand Let's can rest there. for a few seconds before you have to remove it. it. They're very hot. Hot beach. <clears throat> we progress forward into the room, down the stairs, down wherever the stairs lead. It's All right. Fun. So I'm you leading? Like, yeah, I'm like sixty feet ahead with my forty-seven stealth right now. Right. Okay. So as you begin, first thing you notice, the steps. They're long steps. Okay. They are about three feet wide each step. God-sized. Um, so you're having to like step, 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 step mm. leap down a few feet, continue again, leap down a few mm. feet, and each of you are doing this. Uh, who here does not have magic boots? Um, me. I mean. I mean, I just parted my armor. If that's not boots, then. Just it's probably just the front guards, huh? What do you want my boots for? Yeah. I don't. You're flying, you're okay. fine. Um, but I've so, got my broom that I just said I was on. Correct, so you're fine. You, as you're walking, the ground is very hot. Oh. And you can continue to move your feet in a way where it's not too bad, but you get the sense if you were wearing normal boots and not the usual, like, Ashari made leather setup that you work on, um, they would probably be melting across Ooh. the metal floor here. Arizona blacked out in the middle of August. Steps. You want to hop up on this broom? Oh, I'm just, I'm just, I do. Big strides. <laughs> Big strides. Right. It looks awkward, but does you it? Know, stay, stay yeah. there if you. If you I try to look more normal while still taking big strides. It's not working. Good job. No. no it's seventy of us. Mm. <laughs> All right. Much so, harder. the steps. I mean, the, the air itself now smells of very caustic fumes mixed with the smell of burning coal. But there is oxygen now in this chamber. You can breathe. Oh, there is enough oh. air to like actually get a lungful here and there, though it is still thin. Shit. And there is still the toxic fume here that had you not had the Hero's Feast, you'd be having a rough time. Um, but you're not having to constantly dip into the, uh, the jug anymore. Um, did one of y'all growl just now? Just from the sound? Of that was you? That was me. Or did it come out of the speaker? You don't know. That shit scared me. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was too loud and from a weird direction. <laughs> I got a haunted house for a second. I was like, <laughs> I cannot <laughs> wait to get to Halloween Horror Nights with you again. <laughs> oh, oh, you're my like, Ham's fatal flaw. And <laughs> hey, I'm quick as hell. <laughs> you are quick. That's why we leave you 10 feet ahead of us. Yep. Oh, you are the best jump scare. <laughs> One of these days you're going to break someone's nose. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> it's going it's to be glorious. Anyway. <laughs> as you descend the staircase, you ahead, uh, make a perception check. All right. Use your pillow die. Hey, yeah, that's good. Perception, you say? Yeah. 27. 27, okay. Um, you continue down for about two minutes or so, and even glancing ahead to the edge of your visual range here in the darkness, because there is no light source below at this point. Um, the stairs are continuing and continuing and continuing, and you have no idea how long it'll go for. But you begin to sense as you're walking, you hear this faint, Kind of rhythmic, bassy rumble of a low, nearly inaudible drum like beat, deeper than any sound you've heard, just quaking the ground ever so faintly. When you just can very faintly feel it. You kind of get down and like move your fingers to the ground, and for the moments before the heat gets there, the next time you hear it, you can feel the very faint vibration, only because you were very perceptive at the moment. Is it exactly rhythmic and precise? I'd say with your high perception check, you can tell that yes, it is precisely rhythmic. I think there's some sort of god-sized machinery ahead of us. I think we're getting close. Did you lose your earring because you're an angel now? No, it keeps all this stuff. No, it gets He keeps absorbed. the equipment, but I he can't have, hear it. I don't have the ear. <laughs> but I can talk to you telepathically. <laughs> In any language. How about Italian, darling? <laughs> oh. Ninth Stop level. being creepy, Scandal. <laughs> I, I sense my hour is coming to an end soon. Uh, you guys are about 
20 minutes out, both you and Grog, before you lose your forms. Okay. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> Technically. <laughs> Speak in Morse code. <laughs> Another <laughs> 10, 15 minutes of descending these stairs that seem to go on and on and on. Everybody and you guys are starting to hear this. But it is getting steadily louder the further down you climb, Vax. Um, you begin to see along this, the, the metallic walls occasionally shapes in the metal. And uh, you glance over Vax and look, and you can see um, carved from the metal looks to be like uh, humanoid armored warriors standing about 10 or so feet tall, larger than normal. Uh, their poses vary. Some of them are like on the side, some of them are attacking, some of them are just defending. Um, There's about every 25 or 30 feet or so, they'll be one on one side or the other. Are they standing free or are they carved from the wall? No, no, they're, they're like, they're like from the wall. They're, they're, they're drawings or they're like, they look like they're, they're, they're reliefs. They're reliefs. like, they're oh, like, okay. you know, metallic reliefs in the wall. That's um, metal Re- Medusa that turned metallic. them into metal. Made, made of the same metal, it looks like, as the walls are. I'm, I'm going to quickly inspect out. one. Yeah, Make an investigation check. Yeah. yeah. I'm just throwing terribly. It's like some uh, stone nine. shit, but nine. I want to look at them too. I mean, I would totally. I want to fly up on my. Okay. Yeah. I would Those was s- gonna say it, and then he said it. So. <laughs> Please don't need golems that will come out and will fight us. No, no, investigation. Exactly yes. Uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, glancing around the seams, these appear to be like just reliefs in the wall. Okay. Um, there is no like deeper seam, and in, in there, the proportions are flattened. Um, they are designs in okay. the wall. Okay. Mm-hmm. But it's. Does, does, this, does the style or indicate anything? Or? Uh, the craftsmanship is extraordinary. The detail, like the the you can, the only because you rolled so high, like you can tell that these are just reliefs in the wall. But up until that point, it looks like the detail on the nooks and crannies are so microscopic. You can see texture on the skin almost, like pores carving. It's. Immaculate. It's artistic. The level of detail put into these. Beautiful. Grog. Hmm. Do you trust this? To what are you pointing? <laughs> the the reliefs, the people in the wall. Okay. <laughs> you know, it was a hypothetical question. Right. Like, do I trust the art? I'm just. Uh, just to be safe, and I cast Freedom of Movement on Grok. Okay. Just in case. Ooh. I think we should stay pretty I'll start pretty popping stuff. and locking. <laughs> so loose, so free, so much movement. <laughs> so that lasts for an hour. An hour. Great. Cool. I'm going to be stealthy. I don't want to be noisy. Always stealthy. Okay, Always well, stealth, please. 32. Okay. So what is the marching order here, please? I don't actually mind taking the lead on this one. All right. Okay. Do we have five minutes left or less? Uh, you're pushing about 10 minutes or so at oh, this okay. point. I think five to 10 minutes, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you took 15. I just love walking on the wall. I could just stay like this forever. So I'll be in the no, middle of the group walking on the wall. You're so beautiful. <laughs> We look over and Scallon's just going. He's <laughs> <laughs> so symmetrical. I'm actually going to. I'm going to hang back. Okay, so oh, Vax a little behind. It's Percy and Grog up front. I'm going to go up uh, behind Percy. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be with, with Vax. Alrighty. I will fly up next to Grog and put my healing touch hand on his shoulder and heal him uh, a lot. <laughs> Thirty-one. Awesome. Did you heal thirty-one hit points, Grog. Oh, plus three. Thirty-four. There you go. <laughs> and you're also freed from any cursed disease or blindness that you have. Wow. Just FYI. Uh, I'm go. also gonna no, dump twenty hit points of lay on hands on my own damn self. Alrighty. Wait, is that like um, 
ding to your saving throw is considered a curse? It is a curse that can only be broken by a god. It's if he fucking brings it up to a god. If only we'd met a god. <laughs> No, he doesn't I, even realize he has it. I tried to talk to Paylor, but people are like, no, don't talk to Paylor. What are you fucking talking about? What are you talking about? So, <laughs> the grog continuing the charge forward, taking the steps, eventually you begin to see a source of sunlight, faint orangish red light. Uh, your initial instinct, based on your previous travels through here, is molten rock. It's a very similar. Orangish red color from this distance. As you descend, step upon heavy step upon heavy step, you watch as you can see what appears to be a, a square orange opening below. As in the hallway, the kind of uh, pointed uh, hallway that leads you down comes to an end and the stairs descend into a chamber. I'll go in. <laughs> Would Trinket's little feet hurt if he, he, he hurt if he was on the ground? Uh, do you want to put Trinket out of your neck? Well, I figure I would have tried to put him out when we got in the tunnel, but if his feet were hurting, I would have put him uh, back in the I'd say Trinket's not comfortable. Yeah. Keep him <laughs> okay, I'll keep him in there. Okay. So, as you descend, Grog, the staircase continues below as the hallway comes to an end and you find yourself descending into the center of a massive hexagonal chamber. Uh, the walls climb about 25 feet on each side of the hexagonal size. There's one flat wall ahead of you, and you assume probably one behind that you cannot see it from your current perspective on the staircase. Um, you can see that the walls are still made from the long plates of intricate hammered metal, black and red tinted with dust and rock and whatever other uh, materials were forged into the actual metal. Uh, the support girders of dark red metal marks the seam of every wall plate, like when you first entered the hallway above. Uh, centered of the chamber ahead of you, across the wall that you see there, um, there is a glowing pit of heated coals about 15 feet on any side that marks the floor before a giant metal wall with two X-shaped cross beams that hit the corners of where that wall begins on each side, and in the center where they meet, uh, you see they a, relay, a, a raised relief of what looks to be solid gold, bolted there that surrounds an opening of some kind. So there's a, a space in that golden relief. Um, what's the floor look like from here to there? Uh, the same surface? Same metallic surface. Any seams? Which yeah. is smooth. Uh, I, well, no, the, for the floor in here, it would be, uh, it would be fairly smooth. How high off the ground is that relief? Is that uh, it's, the, ways it's, it's 25 feet uh, to the ceiling, and it's halfway down, so it's about 12 and a half feet in the center. Okay. So it's, it's from the ground, you'd have to get up to see it. Okay. I'll move closer Bye. towards that. Okay. You walk up, you come to the very bottom of the last step, oof, leap onto the ground, walk forward to the edge of where the coals are there at the base of your feet. And you glance up and you can see and make a perception check. Hold on. 17. Whoa. All right, you glance up and you can see um, the relief of solid gold. The opening in it is triangle shaped, roughly one foot across from point to point, like that. And it is it comes into a triangular point. Um, and it's about that size. It's about a foot, and then a foot, and then a foot. Um, I think you're supposed to stick your hand in it, Grog. Is the golden relief? <coughs> the, it's just the triangle shape, right? There's nothing yeah, it's, else it's, around it's, it. Yeah, it's it's almost it's like a weird, uh, kind of a rough circle, and the triangle is carved into the center of it. Um, the two walls immediately to the right and left of that, kind of where the hexagonal kind of pulls back to each side. You see two more of those metal warrior reliefs that you saw earlier in the hallway. Um, uh, the coals that's, and the coals are in a circle around. Uh, the coals are in like a square section, a fifteen by fifteen foot section of the floor in front of you that that leads right up to the wall with the giant X meeting the seams in the relief. I mean, I'm not up to Tony Robbins' shit, right? 
Does it look like anything that's supposed to go in the, the triangle? Does it look like a keyhole? It looks like a, 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 a gold relief that has a triangular hole in it. That's all you can see. Does it, I mean, do you see how, can we see how deep the hole goes? You have to get closer to it. I want to get close to it on my broom and look at it. All right, you fly up above the coals and the heat emanating from the coals below you are extremely hot. You can see it kind of warping in the air above it. Um, so you kind of have to kind of protect yourself a bit and squint the eyes and you swear you can smell the scent of burning hair. Um, and you get up close and you can see the relief, uh, perhaps some sort of triangular pyramid-like shape would slip into it. It looks like all the corners eventually converge to a point on the interior of it. Okay. All right, I back up so that I'm not in the fumes. Is there anything else in the room besides the two reliefs on either side that we can see tools? Uh, do you guys want to walk around the yeah. back of the staircase? As you guys move around the back of the staircase, the wall on the opposite side of that relief contains a third uh, armored warrior relief embedded in the wall. Um, you can see there are four pillars right along the side of where the staircase descends that contain uh, bolted in large braziers that contain ever burning flames that just flicker and give that orangish red glow, similar to the coals that you saw embedded in the ground as you arrived. And then on the back side of the, the staircase and the column that held it aloft, you see what looks to be, you recognize it immediately, Grog, um, strangely, because while you've not cared or understood what these things are before, you suddenly know what it is. Um, you see what looks to be a large metal, looks like a well, almost, but there is a uh, furnace built into it and a number of tools that are hanging to the side, small like tongs and heavy leather gauntlets. Um, this is a smelter. Platinum. Do we see anything around the room that looks like it could fit in that pyramid shape? Uh, I mean, I'm just. I'm gonna uh, cast again, detect good and evil, and just do a swoop around and see if I sense any <laughs> creatures or <coughs> magically consecrated <coughs> objects. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, you swoop around the room. You detect no evil. You detect no mentally consecrated objects. Okay. Um, and at that point, the spell is about to fade or become permanent. <sighs> big choice, big choice. You mean like you'll stay like that forever? You can't undo it? You're not in his mind. Yes, my child. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, drop the spell. Okay, and with that, a smaller Scanlan form appears, the planetar angelic form vanishing, and he drops about four feet and lands on his feet on the ground. I feel my back covered in hair. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> a moment later, Grog, your form drops as well, and you revert back to normal Grog size. Still massive. So much more handsome. <clears throat> so we're supposed to smoke the platinum, right? Yes. Melt it down, and then we use our magic beans to make the prime Trumbles. Yeah, but we don't Do see I understand what this, how this triangle there. works? Is this part of the? This triangle does not at all resemble any of the designs that you had imbued upon you. I'm going to hop up to take a better look at it as well. Okay. Um, how so you walk up the side and look into it, and you can see it's 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 a triangle, mm -hmm. and then pushing inward, all the points converge on the inside where it would fit a, a pyramid structure, about one foot on each side, corner to corner. And, and, then, and then the point at which they connect, is that about a quarter size, would you say? The point where it connects, it goes to, it goes to a complete point. Complete point, okay. And that relief is in the middle of uh, two cross beams? Yes. So you couldn't like push the cross beams over and lay it down? Well, the, the cross beams are bolted to the, to to the, the actual room. wall, okay. so yeah. yeah. It's and not something we have to lay flat. Did you say there were two metal warriors? There were two metal warriors, the right and left, and then one on the back wall. And are they separated from where we are by hot coals, or the only, the only, right the, the only hot coals, are the ones that reside directly Walk beneath the relief? The okay, so hey, I'm going to check one of those out. Okay, make an investigation. See if it's check. any different than what we passed. In, <coughs> in in you said there were three warriors. Yes. Three. And we can get to the smelter right now, or it's beyond the cross beams. So you can get the, the smelter is, is on the other side of the room, Another behind the staircase. Tools, the actual yeah. all the shit we need. Yeah. 
So 24. 24. You approach and look up into the warrior. You can see it's the three of them are all in the same stance. They're all standing square. Um, they all are clutching uh, a long great sword in one hand. The other appears to be just open to either receive something or hold aloft something that's not there, and they're all facing forward. Um, I'm you, shooting my wings out as I walk up to it. Okay. Your wings arc outward. Um, looking ahead, you can too see the, the armored helmet that adorns its head that kind of normally would pinch her to where the nose is, and you can see the pores of the face. Um, the helmet just comes to, a, it's, a, it's just one big domed curve on top, and where a face would be, there is no face. There's just the outside of the head and what appears to be a similar triangle gap in the face that's smaller than the one in the relief. You glance over quickly to the other warrior and the third, and all three of them are faceless, instead having uh, an empty triangle that disappears into the face. Goes inward, just like the big one. Yes, but they're smaller. Okay. Well, while he does, while he does that, I stand in the middle. Are the three warriors triangulated? Like, if you were to draw out a triangle between them? Uh, within, in, the, in the hexagonal room, yes, they yeah. would be. In like the same people? shape? Uh, it seems to be. Mm-hmm. Close enough, at least, based on the construction of the room, the what chamber. Is, what do the reliefs have in their hands? Weapons? Yes. Two of the three. Swords? But three, like of them. One three of them. Three of them all, no, they're all great swords, but they're also part of the relief embedded That's in the wall. Okay. Mm-hmm. And one open hand. And one open hand. Like, one, one hand is holding it, it's kind of embedded in the wall, and the other one is just open to the side. But the relief is all like you know embedded in the wall, and you can see the the triangular opening. The only thing that that darts inward is that vacuous Precise shape in the, the face. Of details that make us very nervous. Yeah, this is why um, Fox is not going to die is because I can't figure out. Because we can't figure out how the triangle works. We just sit down like. Bye. Is there a triangle oh, on the? F- is there anything on the floor? Any patterns on the floor? Uh, make an investigation check. Smelter, is it active right now? Is it hot? Is it? Yeah, yeah, I mean the coals 13. are cooking, and there's a. The smelter is it's it's low, what but it's we, burning. What, what if we, we try have to smelting make to something up? triangular? Yeah, to fit in those oh. things. Did you? But we don't have an anvil. Thirteen doesn't appear to be any. The floor is pretty an solid. No, the there's no real anvil. detail that catches your attention. Let's let's start smelting. Yeah, might as well. All right. What, what are we smelting? Take those the beans platinum. and put them in the, have enough? In the little triangle holes. Hands. I don't know. We're in their we're in hands. Well, the hands are like. The like the, the statues are yeah. in the wall, oh, and you can just see the outer shape just barely protruding from the right, wall. So it'd be hard to place something in the hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we we switched it out <coughs> all the gold for platinum. Okay. So, and in Vasselheim. Yeah. So let's start the smelter at the very least. Okay. Can so we? the bellows are there. They're big old heavy bellows, and Grog, you <laughs> know exactly what to do. It's a really strange phenomenon to be like, I've never done this, but. It's second nature, and you just begin to get that forge to well and burn, and brightly you can see the the flames and the coals heat up from you know dull red to a bright orange to a white at times, and uh, as it heats up, you have the uh, you know the tongs, but what what do you what what to smelt in? Yeah. But what to smelt? Oh. In. Can I walk around to the? I'm gonna walk oh, across. So yeah, so so like you, a mold. you get the sense here that you know, smelting is the the heating and liquefying of metals. One to remove impurities, and two to then pour into a mold in which, when it cools, the what metal if, makes the if, shape. Of whatever what if the mold can is. I fly up to the, the circle on the wall on the cross beams? Does yeah. it come off? Uh, you reach out and you you touch the the gold relief. It it's it's built into it's the okay. wall. Oh. But it's like a smooth, shiny, polished gold, um, but it's not moving at all. We can't find anything that makes a triangle shape, a pyramid shape, Except for in that. the room. That just means the cross well, the faces have of the, to go. The faces of the, the, of the statuary, so I'm gonna, maybe we should prod that. We might as well start prodding things, because nothing's gonna happen if we don't prod them. Yeah. I'm going to crawl up to one of the, uh, the statuary, the, mm-hmm. the soldiers, and see if, if the helmet comes off, or if the face is removable, or okay. I'm gonna start tinkering. You reach up and kind of like grab the side and kind of feel the side of the face and kind of reach into the inside of the gap in, in the in the uh, triangular mm-hmm. void, if it's you will. It's a click, isn't it? Uh, no, I mean the fingers slide in. It does come to a vanishing point. I mean, it yeah. comes to a point like the like the larger relief. But it's once you look inside and get a little bit of a glance with a little bit of light that's in there, the shape on the inside of it is different. It's imperfect and messed up. It's hard to see what it is, but like it's not a perfect triangle like the rest. Um, huh. Also. Immediately, you guys see there's a flash of orange light that completely surrounds the exterior of the warrior 
and the two of the warriors, <laughs> their entire outer line glows a bright orange. And with that, you instinctually step back. I step up. Or I step up as all three of them <laughs> step out of the wall. Unlike the ones you saw previously that were pressed in and relieved, these have a little more dimension to them, and a majority of their physical form was embedded backwards into the wall. They all of a sudden <laughs> come storming outward, giant great sword swinging in front of them as they all immediately, the heads creepily with the open triangular void of where a face would be spin to one of the nearby individuals in their space. Ooh, and maybe we have to kill them and then smelt into their faces. faces. I'm into it. Mm -hmm. like Don't destroy their faces. That's where we'll pick up next time. Ah. Because it is almost 11 o'clock. Face the army of the faces. Right, 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 right. Whoa. They're sailing across the sea. I see you with the... Uh, with, uh, Santee, Santee, the, the, Santee, Santee of the sea. They? They're about 10, Santee 12 feet tall. Oh. Made out of metal, and they're made out of metal. They're made out of the same metal material. Looks like the walls. They're golems. Are. Metal. They're golems. Golems. Yeah. golems. Golems. Constructs of some kind. Those constructs. Do they look like they're structurally in, integral to the room? Uh, no. They're, they're they're like they're bolted against the far wall, and it looks more ornamental, or at least. There are seams against that back wall to hold the relief there, or at least that's where the relief is placed. You get the sense that with more inspection, you get a better feel, but it doesn't look like immediately it flash plants. It's integral to the design. Cool. Okay. So, oh, shit. we'll pick up right at the beginning of those large metallic creatures emerging from the walls wow. and the ensuing conflict next week. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for joining us on our next crazy step of our adventure. Yeah. Um, we'll pick up Happy birthday, birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Still another hour. Yeah. You gotta, how do you want to do this on your birthday? Puzzle yes, thank you, Puzzle Quest. Yeah. Magic yeah. Gathering Edition for being our fantastic sponsor. Thank you guys for watching. Um, we'll pick up next week, and then after that is Gen Con. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh my god. So after next week is Gen Con, so Gen start Cons. getting that ready. Oh shit. Oh my god. We're <laughs> going fast. right into it. Yep. <laughs> Fuck. Two weeks. Oh. All right. Oh. Have a good night, guys. Rest well. Thank you for coming in as always. Almost nightly kidding in the morning. Is it Thursday? Yes. <laughs> good night. Nice.